The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I had nothing to say. I'll show you. You'll hear about it. <laughs> what happened? I I she, she came in hot. Word. You're going to make it worse for me. But that's it. Is. Whatever I, you say. Let well, me, what I, you got to say? Say it. I was going to ask you a question about the Grammys. Oh, all right. Oh. I'm uh, on peace, love, and vibes. We are. Mickey, we good. I'm on peace. I don't love, know what happened, though. I asked him that. He was like, yo, wealth. whatever you say, you're going to make it hard for your man. You must have did something last pod. He like, yeah, I don't know. No, 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 no. Everything is lovely, man. It's a beautiful day. It's, I just got back. The sun is out. You look good. Thank you. You look good. Everybody look nice. Let's All get right, to cool. it. I said, I'm in peace, positivity. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Thought you was going to fry somebody up. Nah, I don't got that in me today. I like it. I don't got the oil. Wait. Huh? huh? You'll get it later. Look at the room. <laughs> oh, to fr- to oh the fryer. Head. Okay. Uh, yeah. I thought you was going somewhere else with that. Huh? Chef man. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking mechanical. I was also because I'm big and I, my pants be falling down. You think I'm a mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> Plumber. <laughs> what up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What's good? good? What's good? What up? We here? We you, here? Are you here? Are you here? You here? Yeah. I'm Welcome here. Back. Let me get a tonality check, man. Good Let me to see be Mike, 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 Mike. So a little stuffy still, but that's yeah, right. a little yeah. bit, a little bit, a little bit. But I'm here. I can talk. I have energy. We good. All right. Yeah, we good. Make sure. We good. Yeah, we'll send you home. Good, yes, good we he would. <laughs> no, this is a big one. Good. No, this is a big one. I have a lot to say. I think. <laughs> you gonna tell the truth? I have notes. I got I took, notes. I took notes. Too. I have notes. I got notes. Yeah. I got you notes. Got notes. I got notes. And my notes are real. <laughs> <laughs> that mean you going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to tell the truth. All right, there we I'm go. Tell there we today. go. I'm going to okay. tell the truth today. I'm going to tell the truth That's what's up. I'm going right. to tell the truth today. I feel yeah. a half on it. On one side, I'm very grateful that what I made could just be acknowledged in a world like this. But also, it sucks that whenever we, and I mean guys that look like me, do my anything as genre chair. bending, they always put it in a rap or urban category. And I don't like that urban word. It's just a politically correct way to say the N-word to Tyler. me. So when I hear that, I'm just like, why can't we just be in pop? So I felt like my half chair. of me feels like the rap nomination was a Y'all know why we here. Like, oh, uh. My little cousin wants to play the game. Let's give him the unplugged controller so he could shut up and feel good about it. That's what it felt like a bit. But another half of me is very grateful that you know the art what that we I made could be do. acknowledged on a level like this when I don't do the radio stuff. I'm not played in Target. I'm in a whole different world than what a lot of people here so listen to. So I'm grateful and like. <laughs> Boycotted the 1989 Grammy show. We feel that it's a slap in the face. We don't have a problem with the Grammy as an award or the Grammy as an institution. We just had a problem with the 1989 design of the award show. We feel that our music was important enough and is important enough. I think it was just lack of knowledge. Yeah. Their ignorance on the part of Naris, they don't know anything about rap music. And our boycott was to open their eyes to rap music so next year some rap group will be able to perform on the Grammys and the, the award will be televised because the music is large enough and important enough to be on that show. This is a milestone in our career and it's My a milestone check. in the history of rap. All right, Ooh, microphone shit. check. Mel, Mel, yes, Mel, sir. Mel, Mel. Big flip, big mail. Mm. Ish Ice Pole Parks, me, Corey Erickson. Gang is all here. Salute, salute. What up, what up? What episode is this? 697. Welcome to episode 697 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and high, highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few great people. Gang is all here. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? What up? Feeling good, feeling man. Great. Feeling good. good. How are you Ready feeling? Ready to get to it. I you feel back? better. I feel good. I feel good. Good. Happy to be here. Good. Niggas are smelling good. You can smell, so that's a start. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. important. Big Mel, huh? Hey. That's, that's right. Yeah. Fuck that fit check. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ever Who play. Do you? Don't ever play with her. Don't ever play with her. 
<laughs> All right, what up? Y'all want to get right to it? Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. get right to get right it. Right to it, man. Yeah. It's Grammys. The yeah. Grammys. Mm-hmm. The Grammys. The Grammys happened. Mm-hmm. They did. Everybody watched, right? Yes. Everybody watched? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Definitely had to watch this one. Okay. So what's uh, our takeaways, man? What are we starting with? I, I will start off with a blanket statement. Right. I think this is one of the best Grammys I've seen in a while. Agreed. Like, in terms mm-hmm. of the performances, the show in general. I Production think they did, level, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it was. The blackness. It was, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's one of, yeah. Trevor Noah did a really good job as a host. He did. Really, really good. Most times. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's dope. Yeah. Hate. Fuck yeah, it was a little bit hate. hate. No, 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 I'm saying most times he hosts something, he does a great uh, job. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, clear oh, it up. That's oh, okay. up. He did a great job. You better clear it up. He did a great job. It would show up to one of them houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it helped you. You were saying, no, but. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of like, where do we want to start? So much happened. Um, do we want to start with shit, Killer Mike getting arrested? No. no, no. Okay. No. What the, why do we start no. there? Wait, because yeah, I'm you, you the problem. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to start with that. If we're no. going to start yeah. with Killer Mike, it's with it's him sweeping. Yeah, what are you I talking about? I know that. No, listen. I thought it was like, I thought it was really fucked up because apparently it was like he bumped into a security guard. And, and you're still, we yeah, not yeah, starting start with that. Girl, okay, okay, girl. sorry. And <laughs> let, let me say, uh, that that's, they fried up uh, Hollywood Unlocked for doing that same shit. Mm. They didn't post Killer Mike wins. They posted mm. something else. Yeah, mm. like, no. no. Shouts like, to Killer Mike, yo. Shouts to Killer yeah, Mike. Shout out to Killer Mike. Well, you did deserve. what the fuck you said you was going to do, goddammit. Yeah. Sweet. You came right, right in. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hold up, man. Let's, Let's do a real one, too. Let's do it big. Let's do it big. Let's do Killer Mike. Hold up, man. Let's do it big, man. You came in and told us you said it yourself. Uh-huh. He did. He did. He said, I want the Grammy. This is my best project ever, and I spent my own money. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I had a bunch of long talks with my wife. Of <laughs> <laughs> He came right here and told he us. He did. Definitely did. And went out and Mike. did what the fuck he was supposed to do. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Me either. Shout out to Killer Mike. Happy, proud. All of that. Yeah. It's All a beautiful thing to see. Like on, normally, on a million levels. You, you usually get... You know, you'll you'll get these nominations and it usually the commercial album win uh-huh. and everybody's upset. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ah, uh, we know why that one won, but uh-huh. this was clearly the better album. I will say in this watching... case, bro. Oh, go ahead, sorry. I'm sorry, in this case, you can't be mad at this. You can't. And nah. it's weird, like you see people mad and they're like, How could that win? It's not as good, or how can it win? It's not as commercial. Like mm-hmm. they pick whatever argument they want to win and why something wins at the Grammys, and it's weird. I don't can't, understand. You can't please them. You can't please them. You can't, can't please everybody. Yeah, but when you look back at like the Nobody's the last ten years, the winner of this that award for the last ten years, it is usually art commercial. The art? No, 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 no. no. It's normally the artsy Wait. art project and rap, rap, when? rap. Yes, yes. Usually rap. It's rap. That's true. It is. Since when? Like Macklemore would be the last. Yeah, one that, that was the last one they blew it. Cardi they, winning over. Um, I think she was nominated up against Nip, uh, Royce, and a couple of, like, that was a more commercial project that won. Cardi that had was, the best album. I'm just saying. I stayed it, by that, too. I said that then. I said yeah, that. I said that then. I say it now. Mm-hmm. It both, ain't always both, artsy Both Kendrick win. albums won to Pimp a Butterfly and, uh, and another Damn, one. I think, right? I forget. I forget. Two, there was, there was, two Kendrick yeah. joints won. Yeah, it's normally the artsy ones, but it's fine. We can look yeah, that up later. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, score one for the adults. That too. Score That's one true. for the adults That's and true. all you people out there that keep telling me that kids run everything and you have to market to the kids and these niggas doing these fucking mosh pits on the highway and all this other stupid shit. No, That's I, the story all year. For sure. Is the thing about the Grammys. TikTok and the kids and the children mm-hmm. and the pop song and the radio song. That's what we talk about all year long. That's you true. niggas sit here and tell me, no, they have to do that. They have to do that. Maybe. It just gets a bigger impact when you do it, but you don't have to no, do no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I'm not, not mad at, at that. Yeah. But there are trained music geniuses True. somewhere listening to this. And that's how the Grammys is determined, right? Like yes. People 
are saying, how could this win? It didn't sell nearly as much as this and this. But how Grammys is determined, even though there probably is some politics and some corruption somewhere along the lines, I don't Definitely. doubt that. Definitely. Absolutely. The way Absolutely. that you win is people that have won Grammys before or have been nominated for Grammys before vote. So it is the best of the best, hypothetically, the, voting on who they think is the best. It's the best of the best. Voting on the best. I think that that's where. And a I lot think that's of, how it should be. <laughs> I think yeah, and I think that that's where a lot of like you know the confusion comes from is that nobody understands who the voting body is and mm -hmm. what it's like you know made up of. Good, yeah. but wasn't you don't need the to know. The fans are never supposed to understand <clears throat> at all. So yeah. we don't need to. Understand. The game was never for the fans. Whatever y'all know now is a mistake. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, y'all learning too much. As yeah, is. we we trying to shift shit around because y'all snooping around and shit. Now y'all interested in things like the bundle packages and just things that never existed before for y'all. Word. And that's what I saw when I looked out in that Grammy audience. It's man, this game, the design is tough. You're not gonna win. It's geniuses out there. Yeah. These are musical, ge music genius people, business genius people, psychologists. These are well-trained executives who spent 40, 50, 60, and 70 years doing this. And they're in cahoots with each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, and we cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we cool. We can point so, each other in the right direction of... No, I'm his kid's godparent. All oh, right. So now, now, now like, it'd be like that. Now that y'all say that. What do y'all think about the mix, the mix up or mistake that happened with the rap song of the year? Learned it. They learned it. They learned it. They went and tweeted it from their page. Could they put it on. The, the I'm, I, I am. I am. <clears throat> the Grammy page tweeted and the uh, actual website tweeted that I Spice Nicki Minaj won for Barbie World. It was mm -hmm. one of the non televised awards mm -hmm. and then came out. A little bit later, and said, "Oh, that was a mistake. Killer Mike won." Mm. Mm. So, what you saying? The politics of they the, learned you know, we, we friends here and all of this. That's what that look. That's mm. that ain't no mistake. That was clear. Hey, we we gonna show you something. We gonna do this, and or it, it might have been. Even if it was a mistake, it ain't a mistake. It's not. A, it it's a not a mistake. It could have been. We were going to give you this award, and we changed our mind, and we just forgot to notify whoever when when the tweets went out. Due to whatever actions over the last course of the week, mm. it could have been that. It could have been some calls made in the background. It, it's it's this is all politics and connections. You rubbing the wrong people the wrong way. Ah, no, no, take that back. It's possible. It's possible. Mm -hmm. I believe that, and it wasn't shocking. Nikki keeps saying she's fighting machines mm -hmm. and companies. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Yeah, and that's part of it. But I'm glad it went to Mike. That was I've been saying all year. He had the best rap album. Yeah, you have yeah, all for year. sure. I think we all have for me. kind of up here. Well, um, maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> fire. I think I think it'll uh, hopefully it'll spearhead niggas to rapping again. You know what I'm saying? Like the it probably won't. Start, but, it might not. It probably won't because of the youth. Because see, he was able to do that. Like he said, he spent the, out of his own pocket to make mm -hmm. that album. He that that's the album he wanted to make. Unfortunately, a lot of people signed to these labels and stuff. They can't make the album they want to make. True. So because of that, they might want to make the Killer Mike album. Gotcha. But when you walk in the office and deliver that album, nah, nigga, take this back and give us this. Go give us some bubblegum pop yeah. shit, some TikTok shit. Yeah. Some, mm -hmm. gotcha. okay. It just feels good as a MC. It just feels good as a musician, as a fan of rap for this album to win. He on there talking about all types of Fire. shit. Uh -huh. Politics, science, farming. <laughs> Word. He, he on there talking about... <laughs> For real, the not education but, but system. But made it sound fly, too. But made yes. it sound fly. Like, yeah, he did. He, he like, let's not make it sound like did. some fucking weirdo, like, weird shit. He did. Whether, whether, it sounds good. All you got to do is press play. True. Mm -hmm. Whether you well, like the album or not, because I saw people saying they didn't like it, they didn't hear it. The message that it sends, where it's, yo, you can still do it your way. You don't have to mm -hmm. cave. You don't have to sell your soul. You don't have to follow that path. It took Killer Mike a long, a long time to come up 40, with this album. No, I'm saying, how old is he? Oh, he's 48. 48, I want to say. right? Yeah, and been in the game for two decades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like like you said, the alternate route's a long one, but he still got there, bro. Mm -hmm. Doing it your own way. He manifested mm -hmm. that though. He, he sat he on his couch confidently and said, "Yo, I'm rapping my ass off. This is the best I've been rapping since I've been around. I'm gonna show y'all niggas something." Uh huh. Mm. Months ago, mm -hmm. damn near a year ago, he sat on that couch and said, yo, 
This the one right here. Yeah. And I'm happy that all of these people won that Grammy along with him. Mozzie. I love it. Right. Jagged Edge. Uh, 3K, fucking Ty Dollar, 2 Chain, all of these people blast. Like, I just love that everybody wins. Does that, that, that work with rap I, album too? That's what I was about to say. I thought that, that was just album of the year. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just asking. I thought that was just album of the year where the features and everybody also get the uh, Grammy for it. Why would that be? Oh, that's dope. That there are sense. certain categories that are only yeah, credited to the, album of the year and song of the yeah, year. Yeah, I think it's I'm, just that record I, of the year and those. I think that they would still get some. Absolutely, some type of recognition. I'm not sure if they'll get the actual physical trophy. They'll get a certificate or something. They'll definitely no, get I'm a just, certificate. I, I, did, I, I could be wrong. No, you might. I think you're right. Because you know we go on producers that we know. Uh-huh. Like we'll mm-hmm. go in their studios. And they, and they be grand. having all yeah. them fucking mm-hmm. plaques up there. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do do that. So but we're talking about the actual. Yeah. There's a difference with the actual physical trophy. Who gets that? I mean. In certain categories. They, or they might and I'm not sure specifically if rap. That's fire, though. One That's fire. For just every, being attached to it, whether you get yeah, it, yeah. Whether you yeah. get it or not. Yeah. Being attached attached to it. I'm, I'm glad that he yeah. came and stopped here and said all Word. that shit. Word. Word is born. Man, congratulations to, to Killer Mike. Congratulations to all the people that won, actually. Dirk won. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Coco Jones. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Victoria Monet. Victoria, Victoria Monet. Monet. Cleaned words. up a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah she did. Scissor won. We know your girl. Scissor won. Not girls. as big as I thought she would, but she won a bit. She won three or four. Something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Three, I think. I think it was three. Three. But the competition was stiff. It was. Pause. Super. The competition was stiff. So for, for Victoria Monet to win some, SZA had to lose some and vice versa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was almost like a... And uh, you got that terror squad in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Why are these awards not televised? The Killer Mike ones. The rap ones. I don't know the answer if, to that. If Will Smith said it in 89... Right. Some of them have been. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Like they pick and choose. Whenever you said it, they seem to like pick and choose uh, which which awards get televised, which awards yeah. get televised each year, year to year. Yeah, year I, to year. I, I really oh, think that there's some form of think tank that goes into it. Like, because they have a certain number. It's like over seventy awards. Mm-hmm. So it's only considering performances. You know what the host has to do. There's only so many they can put on TV. True. Yeah. So they have to. You know. All right. Look. What are we gonna do? Somebody gonna miss the cut. I think something from rap should be in there. When Agreed. I went, mm-hmm. they wasn't televised in 03, 04. I don't remember when they was ever televised. Nah, I didn't. Because um, that's how we saw uh, Macklemore. Macklemore's yeah. speech. Yeah. When he won. That was rap album or album no, of the year? No, that was album. No, that was rap album. That was rap album. Rap album. Rap album of the year. I think it's contingent upon the artist. I think it is too. I think that they obviously know who's going to win at the end of the day, mm-hmm. and what are people going to care about True. on TV at eight o'clock across the country. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I think they care about the masses. So if Kanye or Kendrick Lamar or Drake. J. Drake. Cole or Drake or someone mm-hmm. of that stature is going to win rap album of the year, they probably televise. And it. they're going to be attending. And, yeah, and you you going no have disrespect Drake. to Killer Mike, no, but he's yeah. probably not. Yeah. You're going to have Drake get up that, there and give a that speech. That makes sense. You'll get yeah. up, you're going to have Drake get up there and get a speech because he moves the needle. Yeah. So, so like everything else is economics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. You Your girl mean? won. Tyla. She did? Yeah. Best African music performance. Make me sweat. Big plat. <laughs> 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 that's her first ever award, period. That was mm-hmm. the inaugural award. Yeah. That was the first time that's, that award was ever given. That's a bar right there. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Swag. I wish y'all stopped calling that girl a plant. She's not a plant. She's not a plant. She Somebody said that? They think anybody that they can't really... Eyeball Chart. where the, the uptick came from is a plant. True. Yeah, but the second that you went to purchase that water song, you should have and would have seen all of these Preview to records other, yeah. from like 2016. Bro, I played a record before water as a sleeper. Oh, you've been on a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Clit riding. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I'm mad at you. But you look so young. How old is that girl? 20-somethings, early 20s. Early 20s. Whatever. Whatever. Salute. Salute. So what'd you guys think about the performances? Any performance stick out? I loved it, man. I I gotta say this, and I felt a little coonish. I loved the Molly Cyrus joint. She killed it. I was in there like this. She was (laughs) acting like Tina. She put a little black in there, so she won me over, doing a little (laughs) Tina reenactment. And That song is a bop, too. Yes. And then the Luke Mm -hmm. Combs and Chasey Chapman. Mm -hmm. I thought that was fire. They you killed it. They killed it. I, I, <laughs> that long, fast call. I was, I was in there like this. I said, yo, they going to kill me. Were you familiar me. with the song before? Yes, I was. Okay. You got a fast call. 
But I didn't know they did the remix like that. You better I didn't know he, it up nice I didn't and smooth he, over there. I didn't know he covered <laughs> it. But I thought, yo, why'd you, why'd you feel coonish? I was too hyped for Body Cyrus. I'm like, man. She's great. I know she is, but then, oh, <laughs> I played this bad times. Yo, y'all are so late on Tracy Chapman. And now because this nigga named Luke come Luke and Holmes. cover it. That's he, fire, he though. He crushed yeah. that, though. Yeah. He that's fire. It. He that's, it. that's when you do justice I to a joint, you, man. Yo. I hate you. I have a very different outlook. Yeah, it's crazy. Nah, that's fire, I Joe. think it's fire. You that's think she fire. cares? She hits number one again. It's number twice exactly. in the same year. Like Thirty four years later, it's <laughs> yeah. number one again. Yeah. And she eats off his version that was also exactly. number one. Exactly. She is. She's a, she's like that I shit am is fire, fine bro. with Breathing this. Life into some shit again. Y'all shouldn't need uh, Luke to tell you that this is fire. But twice. if you never hear it, how do you know? Sure. I heard this when I was well, a kid. I played it still in my house. You're a music you aficionado. 40. Yeah, we're old. That's what it is. No, that's and your father thing. is a music yeah, aficionado. Yeah, and you 40. Old. Yeah, but when this song was a hit. <laughs> and, it, and, it looked, and, and it felt good to look in the audience and see the other music, Facts. music mm, uh, facts. Uh, aficionados, aficionados yeah. doing the same thing I was mm-hmm. doing in my house yeah. without all the cameras in front of their face neither. You know, I fuck with Taylor Swift, yo. I'm tired of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah yo. yo. You got yeah, you. I was out to I do. I do. I do. I do. He was singing this. I do. Yeah. Yo. She looks she, like she's fun to hang out with. Taylor him. Swift just be. <laughs> She just be dancing. She she was Yo. dancing without them cameras in her Bruh, face. Yeah. As goofy, seemed like she down to earth, cool as hell. You know like the drunk. cool yes. white girl. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know like the cool yes. white girl that'll buy your yeah. weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking put the light bill in her name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Buy you a rover, put you on an Amex. Yo, uh-huh. try, yeah. try to cook mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. 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 come on, <laughs> y'all. How bad? Yo, stop fucking playing, yo. <laughs> And I gotta say, Yo. that is one stone cold businesswoman, boy. Stone. Yeah. She got up there to accept that award and say, "Yo, hey, by the way, April, April 19th. She said, "Move, you little frail bitch." <laughs> <laughs> we over here talking about motherfucking Beyonce and Taylor Swift, and that's the problem mm-hmm. because that little debate won't let me appreciate Beyonce the way I'm supposed to, and it won't it, let me appreciate yeah. Taylor yeah. the way I'm yeah. supposed to, mm-hmm. and Taylor got white bitches that she beefing with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo. I'm sitting in my bedroom crying. I saw all that. I got tears coming down my eyes. I'm like, oh, shit, Celine. Yo. She was battling the shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. She came uh-huh. back. And then I'm, I'm glued to that necklace on her fucking neck. Mm-hmm. She fly. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Different. <laughs> Different in that room. Yeah. Look. Yeah. yeah. There's me and then there's y'all. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looked like. And then there's yes. us. And then Taylor came up there and kicked, didn't even kicked, fucking her, an... kicked her to the side. <laughs> Give me that. Move, Yo. you little frail. frail <laughs> huh. Didn't shake her hand. Didn't Nothing. Hug. Didn't acknowledge Whoa. her presence. Why are you that shit like a handoff? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, yo, you know what I noticed, too? When when the lady Laney, when she won the country Lana. album. Oh, Laney. Right. Yeah. Yo, those country singers are haters, boy. It's not only hip hop. They was not happy. They're like, yeah. <laughs> I rewinded. I zoomed in. I, made, I, said, I said, that's nasty. They are nasty. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, at some point, I do have to refer to my notes. All right, come on. Oh, for sure. I got a bunch of shit written down, too. Okay. Fam, let me ask you a question. With, with the no. Taylor Swift, Celine thing. Would you do that? You would never do I don't care who, what Rakim said about you. If you got up there and took a trophy from Rakim, you have to acknowledge Rakim. If Dougie Fresh is up there, <laughs> when, when I go on that stage. <laughs> don't do that, yo. He's still I'm, mad. I'm, I'm He's still yo, mad with Apollo. I'm, you're not I'm, gonna, I'm not over the Apollo. Not I'm, with him. My nigga. I'm not over the Apollo. Not Dougie nigga. Fresh, Celine and, Dion. And, and might shout everybody else on the stage. And that's so the shout beautiful out thing you, about you, age, you, right? That. Some of the niggas that you couldn't beat up back then. Get on there, yeah. <laughs> now that they're now that they about 69. And they 5'7". Yeah, come on. Uh, really? <laughs> Sam, you got to go to Dougie Fresh to lead the No, oh, stop, no. stop, stop. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. No. You definitely hug Rock Cameron. You know money you got to have to do that? Yeah. Taylor Swift said. <laughs> I don't <laughs> give a fuck about At none all. of that <laughs> Celine shit you on. Oh, all that Titanic shit. I'm getting your ass out of here. Yeah, no, Taylor can't do that to White Whitney. Yeah, she can't do that. That didn't sit well with people. All right, let me see. Uh, number one on my notes 
Uh, ice spice and custom baby fat. Oh my god, what, what, that was a mess. I didn't see that. Oh my lord, mm-hmm. yo, some of y'all in these Grammy outfits. The box. It was a dungaree. <laughs> <laughs> it was a jean long dress it all was, the way to the it back. Was, it looked like baby fat. It like looked from like the a 2000s. Bronx. It, <laughs> it looked, looked like it looked on brand. It, it looked, it, very, but it looked about. very on brand. We talking for about her, yeah. It looked very Bronx up there. But that's was that was her intention. I mean, she wanted that that's look. That's the Fordham Road but mannequin but with she, the fat ass. That was that's what it looked like. I walked by the window and said, hi. I'm right there. That's mine. She was she wasn't the only one that had a bad outfit. What's that white girl? Billy Ellis outfit was hard. Billy She did that on Billy Yeah, that's how she do. That's she, she, she do that on purpose. That was apparently some Barbie homage or some shit. Oh, I yeah. like it. Yeah, she do that. That's get out of here. Always does that shit. She, she looked like that at the fucking Let me Oscars. See. Killer Mike Sweet. Like that's her thing. That is. And she's hilarious. stunning. It's Drake and Travis cry about it. Yeah, y'all shut the fuck up. Yeah, mm. yeah. All that fucking Travis crying. They, they robbed me ten times or something. He said. Well, yeah, he said listen to yeah. this guy. Calm the fuck down, everybody. Calm the fuck down. Listen to the young niggas. I don't know who this is. Okay, egg brother. God bless you. Congratulations. I don't know who yeah. you are. Niggas. Positivity you. Praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. <laughs> who, who decided this motherfucker? <laughs> who the fuck decided this motherfucker? Her loss? <laughs> Utopia? Yes, nigga. Yeah, neither of those are better than yes. Michael. Over Utopia. Not your booming! Shut your ass up, no, no nigga. <laughs> Yo, y'all little streamer niggas don't always run shit. Shut the fuck up. That, that's the Some people don't give a fuck about your numbers. Yeah, 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 we don't care about none of that little streamy mosh pit, uh, marked card, whatever you niggas is doing over there. And let's keep it a buck. The, uh, Parks, you said it. Utopia was mid, yo. Yeah. You didn't deserve to win. I'll say it. Fuck that. You fucking Topia. That shit was ass. You Nopia, nigga. <laughs> that nigga just crazy. That shit was, man. I, I'm, with you. I'm just moment, so happy that dropped. the streamer, yeah. that, the, that, the, that the little fuckity fucks finally, finally have a look in the mirror moment and say, oh, oh it's not about us. No, adults are out, nigga. Yeah. It's a good one. Niggas got pocket pocket uh, handkerchief in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Niggas got fly shit on. Musicians, Go, musicians good, are out. Yeah, real execs, business people, you little fuckity fucks. Shut up for a change. I'm so sick of these niggas. <laughs> we only get to do this once a year. We're, listen, we got to rush behind Killer Mike. Killer Mike won. <laughs> well, we yeah, got to let yeah. these niggas know what the fuck we really think. He won and ain't sit down with a single streamer. Little motherfuckers. <laughs> it works. <laughs> that works. Not, not one of you not niggas. Not one. Niggas like, who? Yeah, him. We knew who he was. Yeah, we respect you. Yo, oh, shit, they broke the whole console. Oh, they smashed everything. Yo, we feel that. Yo, we feel that. But niggas is getting dressed and bringing women out tonight. All you fucking incels. And the bass player. <laughs> yeah. The celloist. Yeah. yeah. Listen to this all right, all right, right, enough, dog. Yeah, oh, enough. Nah, they need it. Nah, that. enough. Right. A, little, right. a little pow, pow. To remind you that there are still grown people running the music business. Yeah. Y- y'all got the Viewer's Choice Awards and the Billboard Awards and shit. Y'all kill Yeah, y'all, y'all got the fucking that. Nickelodeon Awards. Hey, yo, hey, yo. All right. No. <laughs> all right. That's that's shit. Come on. We, yeah. That belongs to them. Yeah, I mean, that gave y'all them a- did that. We got, what well, we got? The Grio, nigga. <laughs> that, gave them, that gave them an ass whooping. Don't take the Nickelodeon Awards. All right, we, don't got that. Fucking <laughs> we don't want that anymore. <laughs> Piss me off here. Yeah, yeah, fool, son. The nigga and boy, I was mad about this. Y'all arrested Killer Mike shit at the Grammy shit, but yeah. I felt a little better about it later. Why? Huh? Why? Why'd you feel better? Uh, when I heard his interview that he did on Atlanta on Atlanta uh, Morning Show, he was just like, "Oh, Tig's Morning Show." Uh, was that Tig? Yeah, Tig's Tig's Tigger. Big Tig. I don't call him Tig. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Tig's Tig not. apostrophe I S. <laughs> I hope you don't call him Tig. I didn't even know who that was. <laughs> shout Tig, shout you said? I said Tig, man. apostrophe S. I thought it was like oh. Tig Cousin or some shit. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. In the possession no. of Tigs. But all right, but Tig is, yes. all right, forget it. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, so uh, he just didn't want to focus on that. He wanted to focus on the wins, right? And then, of course, they leaked why that happened. And apparently he pushed one of the security guards. And once I heard that and saw the footage, 
and just know the Grammys? Yeah. Was it a push push? Yeah, good. Good, nigga. Hip hop. <laughs> I, I won. Get out Who of the way. Who are you? Move. <laughs> I'm going through here. And they coming with me. We ain't all got it, nigga. Move yeah, yeah, out the yeah. fucking way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And arrest me. I won. Now that's my moment. That's my pocket spit at the camera moment. That's my all of the yeah, niggas yeah, that got that. You know the one. Yeah. Nip- Nipsey with the victory slap. Yeah. yeah. Victory slap. Exactly. Mm-hmm. This was killing my nigga. Victory slap. Yeah. Hey, whoever you are, temporary hire, I w- I sweep. I swept this shit. And I said I was coming to sweep. You better move. I'm going to sweep I'm you. I'm going to sweep you. Sweep you. <laughs> you better stop playing. So me. I felt a little better. Yeah. That's that, hip hop. That that was. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's hip hop. Yeah, you done. Yeah, it's hip hop in here. All right, all right, all right. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, that little racist Doja looks okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen. That little tattoo shit she had going on was strange. I like all I'm into all shit. that. That's my shit. Look, she look good. She look I'm good. I'm into the tattoos. I am. She look good. Tattoos, short hair, all that shit. A little bit of areola exposed. All of it. A lot of areola exposed. She look like a good time. Super good time. Look at She look like some good. I'm good. I'm good. I thought the same thing. Her name come up, that nigga be. <laughs> this guy. We got a little list. Doja, Tyler. Okay. Nah, 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 Dua nah, Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. She's good. Part, she, she's part of the Holy Trinity of Whites. She's the next white. That's my other table. Yeah. The Holy yeah, Trinity of Whites. Uh, <laughs> Dua Lipa, Lana Del Rey, Miley, Taylor, Adele. There's some more whites out there that you got to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. No, they got like a whole <laughs> committee of Holy Trinity White. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Trinity is three. Yeah, this nigga just added 77 uh, people to the Trinity. <laughs> Stupid nigga. I like watching Scissor laugh at herself crying. Yes. It made, it made conversation look, I don't know, unhinged a little bit, but it was it was endearing. That's in my notes, but we could jump there. That speech was, what'd y'all think of the speech? I thought it was endearing. I thought it was very endearing. Adorable. I liked it. But I mean, a little bit, a little bit unhinged, but in a good way. She made me sad a little bit. Sad, a little bit, yeah. That yeah, like speech was a mess. Think so? <laughs> that wasn't the only authenticity. <laughs> now I'm, I'm extending I grace because you know, as a winner, big you're jersey. excited. Yeah, yeah. big jersey too. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But I feel like she deals with some uh, anxiety stuff, and mm-hmm. the laughing at yourself, crying on stage, was a, a sign of that. And I like it. Okay. She walked <laughs> off. She said, "I'm ugly crying." <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Yo, I, oh I, wait a second. Yo, and what do we think of that? She seemed like she'll be mad for hey, to hang out with you. That her, that her Lizzo shit was, shit was fire. fire. Back to my damn nose. Hey, so we cool with Lizzo again? I, I asked the question. <laughs> wait, so I sat up in the bed. I say, hey, hold up. Don't try to lose a little weight and come back to the scene. I can still tell that's you, Lizzo. Man, that shows in Amsterdam, man. <laughs> yeah. Nah, for real, Lizzo trying to fucking shit. Like, I agree, Paul. That shows in international yeah, that's waters, that's man. That shit was over there, nah, nigga. Nah, nah, she we don't care about that up. shit. She, she tried to get, get on that Keisha Kiorti and come back to the game. Nah, that's <laughs> you. I remember. <laughs> she tried to get that shit thrown out, and just like three days before the Grammys, judge said, "No, no, no. We got enough. We're gonna proceed." Really? So yes. we don't mm. care. Yes. So we don't care. All right, they let they let Lizzo Lizzo uncancelled. She's back. We don't care that snuck right in. They put the little bananas canceled. in the pussy and they made the girl nah, eat, the, eat the shit you're out. Making it sound too. And then come back to the room, lay, hey yo, you want a job? You better get over here. You make it sound so too cool. salacious. What? That's what happened. All right, Lizzo's cool. She was up there. Good. That's it. Oh, that was dope. Like, little story about yeah. them being yeah. on tour. About back them, in the yeah, day. That, was, that was dope. I like Performing that. in front of hundred people, with Red Bull. Okay. I like that shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you really watched five times for real? I watched it. <laughs> I'm out of breath because I was changing. Right. And then I took a shot and I ran here. Shot o'clock. I'm taking but a shot after I won a Grammy too. Lizzo and I have been friends since 2013 when we were both See, that's on what a tiny red Taylor was supposed together, to do to Celine. Opening up in small rooms. I didn't want to hear this shit. People. I don't care about Lizzo right now. I'm sorry. Her so I like amazing. I'm so no, grateful. You are you are are I would like to thank my parents. Yeah. Yeah, you my mom, my dad. God. Top Dog Punch, all at TDE, and my siblings at TDE, to my godparents, to my niece. I just, I'm sorry. I'm just really over. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, that's the part. That's yeah. one. That's one. Yeah. I like that shit. Yeah. Wait, well, like, you like that? I like that shit. I mean, you don't yeah. really understand. Um, I came She's really, fired. really far. Fire, fire, fire! I can't believe this is happening, and it feels very fake. And I'm like, hi, Taylor. <laughs> you like this? That's fire. It's usually yeah. fire. I love you. It's authentic. Um, I'm just very no, grateful. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about the music. Talking about the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, y'all like, like that shit. When, yes. a girl, when a girl yeah. come over and act like that, never. No, not personally. Now she in your living room doing the laugh cry. To <laughs> you don't understand. I've come really, really far. She's usually very talented. I've never had this happen to me before. She's usually very talented. She's yeah. in touch. Yeah. She's in touch yeah. with her emotions. Yeah. Y'all, y'all keep playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two. Y'all keep playing. You gonna get the one, hey, boys. Hey. I'm good. Hey, man, listen. Congratulations to Scissor. That, that second half, Big I still think was a little. <laughs> that was. That was. Maybe I just guys, got, maybe I just got trauma. I've yeah, seen yeah. girls do yes. that in the living room with the lights dimmed down. Oh, for sure, it could be scary, but hers doesn't rub me as scary. It rubs me as sincere. it's authentic. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's having a moment, and, and she's, and she's notice, humble. And I didn't know that Scissor got the duck lips. I never knew that. I was disappointed. I was disappointed. To learn that Scissor felt like she needed to do that or wanted to do that. I'd be disappointed with a bunch of them, but yeah, she's beautiful. They really don't do it for us. Yeah, they all went and got the duck lips. Though. They did. Mm-hmm. They did. <laughs> you ever see them shits on a real cold day? <laughs> 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 what the fuck is wrong with you, man? I'm asking you a question. Yes, we seen it, man. You ever seen that shit? If, if Shorty don't have the, the Melissa half gallon of Carmex, <laughs> what she got? The shea butter, nah, the she she got cocoa, cocoa butter, the glue nah, stick. You ever see she when, got it? When one side start losing it before yeah. the other side? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That shit like, oh, that shit like a flat tire. That shit look nasty. <laughs> with a bubble in it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. And then they get developed that little collagen in the mustache area right there, uh, uh, where it's a little like moly, yeah, like it looks like a hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they angle the camera in the picture so you don't see it. So they just they show up to you in real time, <laughs> and you learn about that shit. Like oh Looking shit, like uh, Wanda from *In Living Color*. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, you got it. Uh, what do I have here? Uh, Trevor is great. Absolutely smoked that Spotify yeah, TikTok joke. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that yeah, joke. He did. He went crazy. He did. Uh, I don't know why Travis Kelsey didn't show up. I didn't like that. Why? Maybe because he got... Because we got to watch the NFL games and watch fucking Taylor Swift every four seconds. I want to watch the Grammys and see Travis I, I Kelsey thought, in the I box. thought about the same thing. I thought about it. Still no, crazy as hell. <laughs> but he, he, got, he, got, he got the biggest sports event in the world. That's what's going next week. Next week. I don't care if he didn't. I don't know what y'all talking about. Still nigga. <laughs> you still nigga. <laughs> what? Help me out. I'm coming over there to the NFL games because I'm doing business yeah. with your boss. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and you maybe got good dick, nigga. <laughs> That's the end of this. I don't need you here. I'm, not really, I'm good over I'm here. I'm not really here for you. Oh, I'm here to boost y'all. I'm, over here, I'm coming I'm into me. your world yeah. to boost you your world. You can't do nothing over here about my world. with your little yeah, white boy fade. <laughs> that don't matter. <laughs> it's Shut up. Still <laughs> with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said y'all crazy as hell. You tell us all the time it's more poor whites getting your baggage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> getting your baggage, huh? <laughs> yeah, this guy is Holy a fool. Shit. Yeah, so, yeah, no, you can't come. Yeah, no. Everybody can't go. Uh, <clears throat> Miley Cyrus always has one. She does. She does. She does. Yeah, she does. She does. She's fire a little bit. She is low. super she fire. Got a, she, she got a dope voice. Her range, like that smoky fucking low shit. Oh, I loved fire. everything about it. She kept shading the Grammys, though, like saying how important how unimportant it was, the Grammy and stuff like that. I don't that. think that's what she was doing. But that's I think, how I took it. You I know, think she was talking to artists yes, and, that's, and but, just yeah, artistry. Just to like, tell them, don't worry about if you don't win one or not. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And worry about yourself. You know, I listened to her a couple of times when she said it. It was twice. That was mm-hmm. her first Grammy. But those too. were that her first crazy. Grammys. Yeah, when she first that got up. Cra- when, that was crazy. I'm shocked yeah. that she yeah. didn't get one for uh, Party in the USA or one mm-hmm. of them yeah. shits. Yeah. She had a bunch of hits. Wrecking Ball. She got mad Maybe that's where the shade come from. I don't know. I don't Maybe. think it's shade, though. It's just like, okay. yo, focus. Like, don't. this doesn't validate you. Yeah. I got you. That's focus kind of the on your craft and honing mm-hmm. your craft. You, and you, got, you, got you, other people, you have other people that, that think this is the end-all, be-all. Like, I got like, it. If I don't get a Grammy, my career is... I, at first, I was like, oh, damn, Molly. Like, when she first got up there, she said, man, I, I could have missed the Grammy, but I'm happy to be up here with Mariah. I thought that was fly. I was like, damn, why? And then she did it again. Mm-hmm. You know? 
She looked amazing. And she, she was did. singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was singing her ass off. Yeah. Um, I, I loved her whole her look arms too. Arms look nice. She looked no. She was she giving nice. me like her whole that performance was giving me Tina. Tina Turner. But her look was giving Who, me Tina, Tina Turner. Uh -huh. She was. That's what she was giving. The dress. The, the dress, the dress like the shimmy and then the arms and shit like that. That was. A, I think that's what everybody, a lot of the women up there were doing. Yeah, Makes Tina. Sense. Yeah, trying to pay homage. That was an homage to Tina Turner's performance of Proud Mary, a very specific performance with the uh -huh. dress and yes. the arms out like that and the body and, and shit. Shoulders. That was it. But her look was cross between Jane Fonda and Barbarella and like Raquel Welch in like one million years BC. That was that was the okay. homage that she did. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. I, no? I thought, Damn, I, I thought, thought, I thought, I thought it, it was strictly Tina. Let me double check my notes. I thought it was strictly Tina. I thought we kept it strictly black. I don't see nothing about what Tina? BC. Turner. Oh. Well, go ahead. You you ain't you not you don't fuck no. You didn't see Yo, don't disrespect Tina Turner. Even the second so she can't I'm pay homage. She, she so can't pay homage her. She's not claiming talk to be her. Now. She can't have been inspired exactly. by the woman. Yeah, she could. I, yeah, I, I, and she paid her respect. She did. I appreciate that. Yes. Oh yeah. please, all of y'all let Miley Cyrus fucking buy some Jordans and get a Mike Will made it beat and rummage and rummage through hip hop. She did. She did. She did. Yeah, and y'all nice loved it. And it was fire, nigga. It was fire. It was fire. It was fire. She came and in she the said, building right. and bought the building, nigga. I don't need this no more. This is yeah. Madam Twenty Two. Okay. Well, speaking. Oh of shit! <laughs> Why do you go <laughs> nowhere near? It's the same thing. No, no, it's it's not. Not. no the fuck it's, it ain't. No, it's not, Joe. Stop. No, no. I'm only specifically talking about how <laughs> this nigga you can right leave. You, you can leave. That's it. You can come nah, and go. That's it. You can come and go. That's it. Hey, <laughs> once you stop fucking whoever that was, <laughs> we ain't get her back in a hey, rap her, studio. Hey, set. Had a snare nowhere. <laughs> hey, she, hey, she went right back to the Holy Trinity table and said, "All right, I'm back. <laughs> give me my my white uh, <laughs> diamond single bundle package, Wrecking please. Ball, wrecking ball part <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, and and now she's back. Uh, but great." I loved it. I loved it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's Carol G. Mm. I stand. Uh, Word. Yeah. Yeah. I am now a Carol G. Stan Me account. Too. Yeah. yeah same. Too. I followed. Carol I was following her from the red carpet. <laughs> I, I wasn't catching who it was, but every time on that carpet, like, who the fuck <laughs> is that? Yo, my girl. When, when she got up, my girl was like, "Watch." You gonna like her? I said. I knew that this was gonna be the oh. reaction too. Mm. Dog, she. I was so happy. So she won. I, 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 so I was so she was so gracious. Oh my yeah, god! Very nice. <laughs> Latinas. Yeah, she's oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. that shit was up so under there. <laughs> what? Damn, Sh and you you to hide it. Man. Yo, and she tried to hide it. I had to re-download the translator. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you talking about? Put it in the screen. Carol G was yeah. all right, boy. Ooh, yeah. Good. Boy, Martha yeah. was right. <laughs> Yo, that G stand for grande. <laughs> Yo, was, I got to tell Martha. That shit was sick. <laughs> <laughs> what I told y'all Martha? Say yeah, Martha came to you Remember? and you tried to, tried to ignore her. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> I got to call Martha. You got to. Uh, I'm yeah, going somewhere. Forgot, yeah. yeah, Martha told me about she Carol did. G. Yeah. yeah. Boy, she did. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh, I've been flustered, man. <laughs> we ain't shit, yo. yo That's the same thing. That's right up uh, your little alley, too. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's right up your alley. No speaking much? <laughs> you stay away from it. If it's up his stay away from it. If, <laughs> if it's up his alley, stay no away from it. No speaking much. Uh, no, you, heard, you stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want no cowardly arguments. Uh, well, if you gonna keep this, this gonna be minimal, <laughs> minimal conversation right here. <laughs> oh, Cash your bag. You know, for me to have that re reputation, I've never actually used the translator app to to beat anything. Cash app A. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fair translate. It's universal. It yeah. The netto. Yeah, no, they they know they know. <laughs> <laughs> They know that little green icon yeah, in the ball. Yeah, yeah. They ain't got to speak a word of English. Green shit with the dollar sign. They, yeah, yeah, they go yeah. right there. Oh, yeah. What's yeah, that? Scan, scan, scan here, scan yeah. here. They give you the shit, you just scan. Scan, yeah. Yeah, scan. Yeah, scan me up. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. You shitting me? The fuck? <laughs> Yo, I saw a strip. Oh, real off of that, I saw a stripper that had the uh, the Cash App barcode. On the hill, right? On the hill. Yeah. Mm. So you just scan the phone and <laughs> you're such a bird ass <laughs> <laughs> No technology, but I think that's uh, Annie Lennox doing Sinead O'Connor is absolutely fire. That was mm -hmm. amazing. That was the best in memoriam as a whole mm -hmm. that I've probably ever seen in the Grammys. Like top, I think I top agree. to bottom. 
Like usually there's one good performance in there, but mm-hmm. then they have some dude playing a cello and we're like, all right, cool, mm-hmm. cute. But mm-hmm. like opening with Stevie, even though mm-hmm. I didn't really necessarily love the jazz vibe. Mm-hmm. Yo, Stevie is sick of us. Yeah. <laughs> Stevie is sick of us. And I had just finished watching the We Are The World mm-hmm. shit. Oh, so, we gotta get your thoughts on that after, after the Grammys. <laughs> well, I, my, my thought is I can't believe they did all that after an award show. <laughs> word mm-hmm. yeah. I cannot believe that they did that after an award show I can't believe that Lionel Richie and Michael Jackson had 48 hours or however many hours they had to send Quincy some shit that's pressure word I can't believe Stevie Wonder didn't call him back imagine if they would have waited <laughs> and he pop up three weeks later get the fuck out of here <laughs> Uh, I love I love when that white boy left when Stevie started trying to sing Swahili on <laughs> yeah, yeah. the world. I told you. He was yeah. like, yeah, this Waylon isn't for Jennings, me. Right? Yeah, yeah. Waylon Jennings, this is not my jam. This is not my jam. This is not my brand. He got him out of there. That nigga said, peace. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Wait, did the, the lady scream from the side? Wait, but they don't even speak that damn Stevie. Like, you fucking. <laughs> it was six in the morning, Stevie told me, man, I don't know. Man, Lobbins, what the fuck is this nigga doing? That nigga got the fuck about He didn't even say bottom niggas. Yeah. Uh, Al Jarreau was nuts. Yes. Why did he have that Al- solo? I told you. Why, exactly. Why did Al Jarreau and the girl from um, Betty Davis, why did they have solos? Al Jarreau. There's so many people that could have had solos. <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny? After the doc... I like the, the, the bad solos now. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't have had no solo, man. <laughs> Betty Davis. Oh, I like that too. Why did she get a solo? <laughs> After Mike in the bridge. Mike was tight. Yeah, Mike was. <laughs> Mike was so irritated was at the combo. Holy combos. shit. That shit was crazy. No, that was great. That, that shit was, was crazy. But I cannot believe they did all that after an award show. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. wild. That explains why Al was in there fucked up then. No, well, he, no, no, he, he got kept ordering up wine. There. Yeah. They kept hiding it. Yeah. <laughs> they had a big wine bottle on the floor. They can't hide wine from a fucking nigga that's looking for wine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with Quincy Jones? <laughs> you know, he's going to find an intern. Like, oh, there it is. Go get that right there. Oh. Bring me that. <laughs> anyway. Um, back to the ground. They oh, smoked that. Yeah, uh, Annie Lennox. Annie Lennox amazing. doing Sinead O'Connor is absolutely uh, mm-hmm. fire. I love that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stevie's sick of Stevie's sick of us. Mm-hmm. He's been performing for ninety nine years. Yeah, now. get him. Yeah, that, it's time to still just... won't give him his big one. Yeah. <laughs> he still won't give him his, his lifetime achievement award. John Baptiste killed that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he's fire. Yeah, he's he's sick, yo. Yo, <laughs> he's sick. That's who was performing when when I caught the glimpse of Taylor just in her zone, and I was like, you know what? I fuck with this bitch. <laughs> I do. Mm-hmm. I like her. Yeah. And I meant to tell you, like, three or four weeks ago, my dad calls me, and he's like, you know, he's asking about Taylor Swift, which is weird, because, you know, I think he's like a Black Panther or some shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, why are you asking me about uh, Taylor Swift? And, uh, I said something like that, and he was like, I like, I like her. He said, uh, her views are very uh, aligned with mine in terms of then he got in his political bag. And then all the stories started to break on the news about how people are waiting to see what Taylor Swift has to say about uh, candidates and who she's endorsing mm. and what's going with. It's big games they play. Yo, they see sure. they, 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 so they, can they, we stop the argument now from going forward? This what? girl is a moving tank. She is. My nigga out here in any in any arena in the United States, she is moving shit. Whoever she endorses, it matters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stop comparing her to people. So look, right? I ain't trying to be funny. Stop comparing well, okay. her. Y'all saw, the shit, y'all saw the shit that happened before, um, it was like a couple weeks ago, the AI pictures that went viral. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So now somebody last night did the same shit. Like did, y'all gonna get y'all asses locked up. They already meeting with Congress now. She's actively changing. She ain't even said shit. She's just because they're using her likeness, you can't play with nobody of that magnitude. They're creating new laws now, today, to kind of curb a lot of this shit. They took pictures of her on the red carpet and had her hold it, and the shit looked real. Like, I thought it was real. I was like, nah, she wouldn't do that. Holding up a, a, a Trump won Democrats live. Oh, shit. Sign, and this that deep fake shit. Yeah. And it's just like that. But again, to what y'all saying, people are really waiting to see which way she oh, goes. That's crazy, son. 
But a fake and video they say could, that could, that's why number three in Universal versus TikTok about hate speech and number two with the use of AI. Mm-hmm. That's why it was a big concern for them on TikTok. As well. uh, I get it now. It's all it's all connected. It's all that shit tied in. Mm-hmm. But I do want to reply to that. I ain't letting you do that. Uh, yeah, you back on your shit. I don't. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Back on your shit. We got to stick with because the blacks. Because as I'm watching the thing, no, you don't. You can stick with what we want to. Yo, with. why do we got to be one or the other? Yeah, that, we, that's, we that's exactly what I'm young coming to say. Lady and the level of influence that she has as a thirty some odd year old young lady. That's a musician. She's amazing, but that's we still have to represent a lot of power. That's, that's me. It's impressive. That's him. Yeah. Can't take that away. It's okay. impressive. You were saying. But in in regards to Beyonce, and this is just how I'm viewing it that night, just in watching the room. Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift and Beyonce to me is like if Mike and Prince. No, if they if they both were stuck on Gilligan's Island, And Taylor Swift got a helicopter to go where she had to go and get back to civilization. Beyonce, to me, has to learn how to swim and swim for hundreds of miles and do take all of the bumps and bruises to get to the same destination. Taylor Swift is more representative of pop. So when you say Taylor Swift versus Beyonce, it's like Beyonce versus all of the powers that came with Taylor Swift slash Scooter Braun, if we're talking about who we come in with. And Scooter Braun at the time is the most powerful nigga in the universe with all of the biggest pop stars. So that leverage, along with the best songwriters, along with the all of those geniuses I spoke about at the top of the show mm-hmm. are there with Taylor Swift from day one at that holy trinity table. Miley Cyrus, all of them. Coming up I'm with pretty sure it. Beyonce had a pretty good team behind her too. No, she no. Got, she Beyonce got to came the in with, and I and I thought about this because her dad. As soon as her dad is doing interviews, talking about why she didn't win or whatever the fact, I'm like, look at this doof. Uh, I'm talking this. about I'm talking about in terms of product, producers, songwriters. I think she that got nature. to that level. I, I don't think she walked in the door with that. Okay. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. She she did it the mom and pops way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the Carters in that room <laughs> were mom and pops. They were the mom and pop store mm-hmm. of of that room. That they, they have are and operate as their own faculty. Mm-hmm. That's true. And their competition for the big dogs. Mm-hmm. And we view it that way. True. But we should not view it that way. I want to give Taylor her respect in terms of being the biggest driver of inventory in the world and being the inventory. Like, she's just all of those things. True. I agree. She moves numbers differently than everyone else in the world mm-hmm. currently. But... I don't want that to negate from me having eyes and ears and knowing all that Beyonce had to endure and go through to even be looked at in that light. I agree. I, I, my thing is, I just don't see why we always pit two people against each other. Oh, I like them both. True. I, I just I like, I like I to it all. I think two people. <laughs> I'm caving for Taylor now. No, I think just two people could be amazing. I don't think it takes away from Parks' amazing ability to to big up Mel. I just don't think the two. We do that as humans. We just got to put two people against mm-hmm. each other, and we don't have to do that. A lot of I'm, times, it's, it's really playing, like women. I'm always yeah. playing Beyonce. In the society, I'm never though. playing Taylor mean? Swift. So. It's usually it's pitting women against each other. No, like it, that's not true. It's not. We did it for Michael Jackson and Prince. For, do it for everybody. Every, everybody. We did it for everybody. It's, 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 we do anybody it with Nas and Jay-Z. We, we do yeah, it with LeBron and Michael yeah, Jordan. We do yeah. it with everybody. It's, not okay, just, it's, it's everywhere. I do wish they would, uh, in my notes I have, I wish they would stop making legacy acts do new songs. Yeah, I hate that. It's really annoying. Billy Joe? Billy Joel, uh, uh, Joni Mitchell, U2, even Stevie doing the jazz cover. Like, yeah. play me play me your slaps, bro. Like, yeah. I get I'm what bi- you're doing. That's, hate, bro. That's white on white hate. Billy Joel knew shit was fire, nigga. No, it was not. I like that. It was all right. No, nah. That's white on white hate, and that's, and that's coon hate, nigga. That's, stop it. <laughs> Bro. Billy Joe shit was nice. Oh, and my okay. man in the fucking We Are The World shit. What's my man? <laughs> Wait, who's the old nigga? Bob, Bob Dylan? Oh, uh, Bob, yeah. <laughs> yo, Bob, what the fuck was up with Bob Dylan, yo? That's Bob. <laughs> he was mumbling. Yo, he didn't want to move. That's how he, he sings. He was mumbling. He had to go to Stevie. Stevie helped him. Yo, Quincy Jones is the best in the world. He's the best in the world. He is. Nobody else was going to... Hear that bullshit that Bob Dylan laid just now. 
and work around and figure it out. Mm. <laughs> he figured that shit out. Went over to him like he smoked it. Bob telling him, I, that was trash. <laughs> Bob, like, you like that? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Quincy, like, we keeping it. Don't worry, big dog. You hear it. You hear it. We got the stems. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that shit was beautiful. Anyway. Uh, Fantasia, I love you, girl. Ah, she spoke up. I yes. love you. Yes, she did. She love you back. Oh my! Stop. A woman is married to a nigga that look like me. Stop. She smoked up. I absolutely love, love, love that Fantasia performance. However, I, there is a however. Dead Tina danced better than Fantasia. Dead, exactly. Like, there you go. And that's only highlighted up. to me it's not because. You're Same doing proud Dad Mary. Tina. Mm. Tina. She vocally spoke. You wasn't doing proud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vocally spoke. Vocally, she looked good. And she looked great. The dancers and her dancers. Her dancers. Was she great. was great. Everything about that was great. But the you, if, you if you've got, ever seen Tina Turner Tina's doing proud Mary, yeah. then you could see the silhouette of yeah. Tina up there. Yeah. Like the ghost right. of Tina. Joe yeah. was right. I said the same and thing. I was like, that ghost is smoking. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> <laughs> that's the part where you go. Yeah, that's when they started going yeah. crazy. Yeah, she ain't. Yeah, I had, she, it, there was an interesting choice in my notes because <laughs> vocally, amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Visually beautiful. She's gonna say Dancing it? wise, it's not the energy that that's legs No, not at all. Nah, that yeah. leg, that leg wasn't legging, yo. It wasn't Tina. Respectfully. I like Fantasia. She got a little boo thing, but... Yeah, a little husband. Natural lips. Natural mm-hmm. donkey. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> man's wife. Come on, it's a man's wife. Bro. Hey, yo, I know her husband look like Joe, nigga, but that don't mean you can be his ass. Come on, come on, stop. Enough. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> oh, stop shit. chasing around niggas' bitches. Leave her alone, women. Yo, what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> you guys are nuts. What is wrong he been on. He been on ish ass, like, since he Why, though? I don't know. He won't tell us why. He's got this energy about him, man. He got this very... And, and I want to... I want to... He keeps saying, like, today. yo, I'm, I'm, as soon as you say something, I'm on you. He scared him, though. Scared him. Ish. Ish kind of chilled out a little bit. Picture that. Don't, don't hype it. Now you're going to look what you did. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm mad? Now look what niggas did. Because you... you, you when you was talking on that live, oh, you looked like you fried me up a little bit. You looked like you was, I forgot all about that. You, you that, doing the it. flamingo stance so in my mind. You want to come in to get his revenge, real? You were live Friday? Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I hold shit in. I can't wait to get this nigga back. Uh, time for my favorite part of the show. You know the vibes. Prize pay! Yeah. Final game of the year. Football season is a wrap. I've been saving up. The big one is here. <laughs> Prize Picks, the largest daily fantasy sports app in all of North America. Super easy to play. And it's one game, man. Come on. Uh-huh. If we can't, come on. This is our time. Yeah, it's our time sure to shine. Is. One game left. I'm spreading that shit out. Hey, yo. Pause. Oh, wow. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Really easy to play. Uh, all you have to do is select two or more players, look at their projected stat line, and decide more or less for your chance to win up to 25 times your money and with the special demon picks up to 99 times mm-hmm. your money. So don't forget to use promo code JBP. Good luck to everybody out there. My picks for the week. Joe Budden Genius Picks of the Week, Patrick Mahomes. More than 0.5 passing yards. <laughs> yep. Freebie. They're giving you the freebie. It's there. Prize picks is so kind. Take it. Uh, Brock Purdy, less than 247.5 passing yards. I do not see it for him. Sorry. Not against that secondary boy. So, sorry. Once they, showed, once they showed him walking around in the locker room back there with his khakis, <laughs> once they showed me him walking into a, in a locker room full of killers, yeah. sure. I'm off of him. The white boys with the Dockers, they get busy. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't have him for more than 247.5 passing yards. And Brandon Ayuk, I have for less than 63.5 receiving yards. Not mad at it. That Chiefs defense is legit. Yeah. That damn Spagnolia shows up. Yeah. Spagnolia shows up when he's supposed to show up. He did it for y'all. Yeah. Yes, he did. Salute, salute. Don't forget to use promo code JBP. Shout out to Prize Picks. And congratulations on to all of the winners out there that won this football season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, back to the Grammys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got a couple, mm-hmm. couple things left. Mm-hmm. Um, the elephant in the room. Why the elephant? 
Because hmm? there was so many different mixed reviews and opinions based on what, what was said. Got it. Yeah, we love y'all. We love y'all. We want y'all to get it right. At least get it close to right. And obviously it's subjective. Y'all don't got to clap at everything. <laughs> obviously, it's sub- obviously it's subjective because, you know, it's music and it's opinion based. But, you know, some things, you know. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. You know, some of you, some of you going to go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you made it, Rob. <laughs> Double entendre. <laughs> some of you don't belong in the category. Oh, shit. No, 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 that was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. <laughs> um, but outside of that, outside of that, you know, we got to keep showing up. And forget the Grammys for a second, just in life. As, I, as my daughter st- sits and stares at me nervous as I am. Um, <laughs> um, just in life, you got to keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Forget the Grammys, you got to keep showing up. Until, you, until they give you all those accolades you feel you deserve. Until they call you chairman. Until they call you a genius. Until they call you the greatest of all time. You feel me? As, as, as he was up there, he appeared nervous to me before the, he got uh, to... It's the most nervous I've ever seen. Before him. he got to anything. Like, it brought me back to... You could just... We've seen Hov. We know Hov. We know Hov. He was up there looking like he had something to say. Mm-hmm. I didn't know where he was going with that. I don't like, know if he did either. <laughs> I'm talking about before he started. I think he did. I think, I think he, he did. did. Super, super intentional. But the weight, the weight of saying that and saying it in that room to those people as a board member, I'm sure. And as they give you an award. Mm-hmm. The Dr. Dre Award, the Black, mm-hmm. the Black Grammy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the Black Grammy. Uh, I'm conflicted. I, I loved it. Let me start there. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Uh, that's hip hop to me. What is the brazenness of of that move? True. To get up there on that stage, be a board member accept an award, and then call out the very stage he's standing on. Yeah. That's what's so that's, hypocritical that's, to me. Yeah, because when Kanye did it. No, I wasn't. Even, oh, good. Why is that that was the VMAs. Why is that hypocritical? But they were still Because you're so... Sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even finish the praise, but go ahead. Oh, good. No, work out. Sorry, sorry. No, get to the point. We're here. Um, because it's... You're, you're like anti... I don't want to say establishment, but you're anti-billboard. You're anti... Like, you, you constantly... State that none of that shit matters. I'm on the other side of that. So now for you to come up here and basically, hey, y'all ain't giving us y'all y'all y'all, y'all not giving her the award that that I feel she deserves, even though he admits that music is subjective. Mm-hmm. She has more than anybody, but she's never won album of the year. Well, we know how to one the Grammys play when y'all you, you boycott it. You haven't looked at us in the best light. So, yeah, we don't want to give y'all our top awards. Like, this is a business at the end of the day. This is politics, and you know it. He could so, be anti, but that doesn't mean Beyonce is. You, fair so, as a man, he went up there to speak on behalf of his wife. He did. You can be anti, but if you're, if she's boycotted with you. Mm-hmm. So y'all have done that together. I don't understand the... Um... <sighs> you have more the most Grammys... Of anybody in history, why mm-hmm. is the album of the year that important? Because that's the one. It's that's the one. It's an oxymoron. That's, that's the most important Grammy. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's, an oxymoron. that's why they end the it's show the with it. The last award. How yeah. is that an oxymoron though? Because if you are recognizing, let's just say one particular project, let's say Project X uh-huh. comes out, and the Project X wins three, four, five awards, uh-huh. typically. That's gonna get the album of the year. It's the same thing with the um, the Oscars. When yeah. the Oscars come out, the director, the, 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 the three or four movies that we hear about are the ones. Mm-hmm. And so when they win best cinematography, best uh, 
score, best this, best that, the the best actor of the year. You know, it's what hard I mean? to say. It's hard to win best picture and not win best director. Yeah, like, like it's always you know like kind of like, like well, some wait, of those how? things tie you know? in. Uh-huh. So you giving me all of these props for this one particular project, but that project wasn't good enough to win your most prestigious award. It's almost kind of contradictory. That's my opinion. So I see where the it might lie. Uh-huh. Like when Kendrick sweeps, he goes crazy. Yeah, but she don't sweep all the time. It's and not, it's not even all the time. I'm not she, even talking like about I'm, I have her, I have her stats. I'm here. not saying all the time. What I'm saying is the lady she has a 20 up some stats. Yeah, no, she got a 20 year history of greatness, uh-huh. but in, in the 20 years, she never could get the album of the year. It's a little, uh, that's all I'm saying. I see where his frustration would be. I'm not necessarily in agreement with it, but I understand the validity of what he's saying. Like I'm looking at who she lose to now outside of the, the one in, uh, 2015 where she lost to Beck because that was weird as fuck that was, that was crazy mm-hmm. but outside of that you lost to Adele who was lost, who, shouldn't who, have who, lost to Adele yeah and Adele was like, Adele like went embarrassed up, Adele about went winning the award against her Beyonce this is this your is award yeah. cool. she should not have lost to Adele and that's back to my problem mm-hmm. with the Beyonce Taylor Swift beef mm-hmm. y'all keep putting Beyonce up against whoever the is the world. The, from the holy trinity of whites that's yeah. popping at the time yeah. mm-hmm. but that was her award so you've I, already named two that she probably should have gotten. I don't agree with, I, I think Adele should have won That's that award. That's fine by you, but if you're That's a you. Carter, <laughs> if you're a Carter, you don't feel like that. Then you lose to Taylor Swift. Okay. Like you're losing to their people who they put, we know how this works. That's and, why I don't understand. And so to his point, so yo, try and make it saying. more fair. And he, he It's up, not fair. I'm not saying yeah, that but he's saying is. try. I, he's it, saying that, where, what world do we live in where we're, any of that happens? This, is, this shit ain't fair. This is business. And let's be clear. Y'all have shitted on the Grammys. So, no, we're not giving you our big awards. Because it's business. We not. Because it's business, when it comes to Hove, we know, well, I know him to be a very shrewd businessman. He's very business savvy. He is far from a dummy. After his boycott, whatever little peace treaty they created mm-hmm. with the Grammys. It helped. Hove negotiates for him and his family Correct. showing up. Correct. Mm-hmm. So he negotiated when it was time for Beyonce to break that record. With the baby rub. No, no, when no. she no last, last year. year when she cracked when she when she most broke Grammys the record, ever. most Grammys ever he nego- that's he, why he performed he negotiated oh, that so and God did yeah any time that he shows up with his family I assume him to be mm-hmm. on the better end of the negotiation. My initial beef with this was that the hip hop in me says fuck a Grammy. Mm -hmm. The hip hop in me Mm -hmm. says you know this thing was born because we were not looking for the acceptance and the validation of anyone. We did our own thing and it just grew. But now because of corporations and capitalism and these companies y'all have totally diminished every element in hip hop, except for the capitalist part, mm-hmm. except for the target consumerism, mm-hmm. shoppity shop uh, shit. So this year, that beef I don't have because I believe Hove and Dre to be uh, the music Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. Jay says, You come do the Super Bowl over here at my place. Dre says, I'm giving you this award. Please show up. Okay. You show up when that happens. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, here's my other thing. You you show up and you take that award. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Correct. If if and I'm speculating here, but just looking and the look that Dre gave him. They gave each other. That they gave each other. And then all of their duets pop up. And then you just start thinking of whole writing. You just start Mm -hmm. thinking Mm -hmm. of a 20 and 30 year bond between these two black billionaires like then you just got to start to imagine what those conversations are like mm-hmm. yeah. and those conversations mm-hmm. i'm certain mirror and mimic some of what he was saying i agree so let me on ask, that stage let me ask you a question you said hove hove shows up out of negotiation right we agree we can all agree to that i do so my, part of my problem with the speech was you went up there and acknowledged how when Will Smith and them boycott the Grammys back in, I think it was 89, mm-hmm. it was because they didn't televise any of the rap mm-hmm. uh, categories. 
if that's part of your your beef and you negotiating, negotiate to have the rap shit shown. Or are you just up here to speak on what's beneficial to you? Because there was no whole nomination in the rap category. So you come up here to tell them, yo, y'all didn't give Beyonce the album of the year award. So you're speaking on what only directly affects you. I, didn't I think he just used her. Like I think he re- used her as an example I, I because she is a, a very exa- good example no, to be used. He used DMX as the biggest example. Yeah. He used DMX. He said, mm-hmm. "Yo, DMX put out mm-hmm. two albums that year. DMX murdered shit, and y'all didn't give him nothing. And y'all ain't televised when DMX was larger than life. And he said it wasn't about him being selfish said, at that moment. Mm-hmm. Yo, Will Smith and them did this this year for this reason. I think they did it wrong." They went home and they watched. That might have been his joke, but he said, yeah, I, I think they did it, it wrong. He, he, said, did it he, he, said, said, he did it too. He did it too. He said, I did it too. I did it wrong too. I boycotted it and I went and watched. I think that speaks to, you know, we come in here all the time and say, oh, fuck the Grammy. Why do people want a Grammy? Oh, the validation. Oh, we hip hop, hip hop. But the, the truth of the matter is artists want that, uh, Acknowledgement. acknowledgement, that acknowledgement, acknowledgement that yeah. respect, and that appreciation their for their artwork too. from their peers. It's mm-hmm. different from fans. This is from people that do this and yeah, understand. Yeah. People do want that. Mm-hmm. We can say whatever we want. People want the shit, and I think that's, I'm not that's, mad at that. But but but, but acknowledge got, that you want it. But what I got from that was, as he continued, that he learned different ways to boycott. That's what I. That's yep. That's what I heard that was unsaid. And I always So you talking about he should have argued for the rap category to be on TV. I believe him to be having way more seismic sure. arguments at that negotiating table. I think I don't I do not think that he was up there just speaking for his family, even though that's what a lot of people heard. As an artist mm-hmm. sitting in bed watching that shit, I felt like he was speaking for us. us. That's true. And we needed somebody. Yeah, We're gonna that. always need somebody. To speak for us in that moment, we need to see him holding his daughter's hand, saying that shit. His us, we us. Nice How many years we? Nice. This whole we need. We looking at fucking uh, Hawaiian Sophie. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> we looking at Hawaiian Sophie with the hair down to his that all of the everything of that nigga do is symbolic or something yo he's a self-professed drug dealer that has transcended every single walk of life getting up there I think this is my opinion like you saying I'm thinking that the behind the scenes arguments are a different level of argument Mm -hmm. so some of the small wins that we getting they may not be big enough for most but I think he's having real fights back there like cool to Isis's point it might not be fair my nigga, let's make it a little more fair. Let's make it, and then I think you get the baby steps until you are at the finish line. And that's back to that lens. I hate to keep referring to it, but that 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 lens from the Taylor Beyonce, Beyonce. beef, oh fake beef, whatever it is, because yeah. Beyonce's always supporting her. Comparison. Yeah, comparison. The comparison. We looking at who many of us deem to be the best of the best up there. Mm-hmm. One rapper number one, most accomplished, one of the wealthiest, one of the best execs, mm-hmm. chairman, all of that shit he's done. We're looking at not only the best of the best, but the best of the best married to the best of the best. Mm-hmm. And he up there saying that. Yeah. yeah. They doing it to him. And her. And them. Mm-hmm. And us. Mm-hmm. I took that as a fucking, as a, as a mass text. As a mass text to anybody out there that understood what the fuck he was talking about and going through and I needed to see it. That was that was spectacular. That was that was I had to text that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Did he respond? He responds. Hmm? He responds. Yeah. You shot to play you right here a little bit. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I was. I was. I, no, I'm that sitting. Was, that was. That was a little. I'm, that was nuts. Why did that matter? You just texted me. I'm wow. literally curious about crazy. the response. I mean, I don't call them tigs. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have we pet names for each other, but I mean, Hobie. Nah, that shit. That shit hit me in my spirit. Is what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like it touched me in my soul. It gave me faith and confidence that maybe in the next fifty to seventy five years. There you go. Things will be different. Maybe things not even can, that long. Things can change. I remember the arrogance of radio stations when we was running around in 04 saying, yo, digital's coming. <laughs> they was like, fuck y'all. Mm-hmm. Get the mm-hmm. fuck, get the fuck out of here, Celine Dion. 
I, I don't that's, even that's, think that's what they think, said. I don't think I it's think, 50. I don't know. The, the, I don't know. The, your, the young boys are, are following him. The next generations, the next few generations of elite acts and artists are going to be talking to fucking a hove, a, a, a big plat, yeah. a fucking Steve Stout, a fucking this, this. Even on a sports platform. A LeBron Dr. Dre. 39. A LeBron, like this. It's 39. It's not about today. It's about the ripple effects yeah. that will come after. And maybe the Grammys won't hold so much weight when all of the artists in the world now that matter have decided to go a different route. Isn't that a money or thing also, that too? more things are important, huh? Like when you, you, when you're, um, when you have Grammys and all of that stuff, now you, you use that as leverage for more money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like I'm Grammy Absolutely. nominated or yeah. mm -hmm. 10 times Grammy, time Grammy winner. award winner. Mm -hmm. Give me more spend. I mean, Beyonce don't need that to leverage, but I'm just saying like, yo, dog, for, for an up and coming act to now say, I have a Grammy, put another couple zeros on that. Absolutely. Joint. So I, I see that. Even a nomination. I see that. Uh, so. I find the whole argument about, you know, why bother? Like why demand or cry out for validation? But it's just like the Grammys a bit. How long have the Grammys been around for? I'm not sure. I don't know. It's literally, it's, 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 it's basically like the Oscars of music. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the prestige of the award dictates exactly 66. what Ish is saying. It's like it dictates the leverage that you can pull in your career. So it's just like, it's. I've always found it strange when people are like, well, why are you bothering to even make mention? You know, just don't show up, just boycott. And it's just like, no, why Why isn't the playing field more level? I felt like that was what Hove was trying to say. Like I, people were saying that it was like, oh, self-aggrandizing and he's only concerned about himself. I'm, I heard exactly what Joe heard. Yeah, I, hear that. I, I heard he that, was speaking we, for in everybody. In the real world, it's not a level playing field and but, we all know that. So but, it's just, but, to, yeah, but, but to accept that as the status like, quo yeah. is, 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 un it. is unacceptable. But when you're in that particular position, like, position that he's in, the only place you can say something like that is on that stage. Yeah. It's not going to hit if he does an op-ed in the New York Times. I, I, and his participation, like, even in the NFL or even if he's on the board, uh -huh. that participation is a cog in change. Because mm -hmm. people will be like, yo, if they don't fuck with us, don't fuck with them. No, dog, I need to get in this room so the, the youth coming behind us don't got to go through what we went through. It ain't 50 million Jay-Zs. It ain't 50 million Dr. Dre's or uh, the, the dudes from QC. It ain't 50 million of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of the other people that's in hip hop might not have the business acumen or brain functionality that they got. So I'm going to make it easier for them. You I get think, what I'm saying? I, agree with I think he NFL looked, at, looked at this as like a responsibility yeah. of, of him because he's hove. He's one of one. He's the and only person that could do it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I agree. And you don't want your wife doing it. No. So I'm going to sit here. And I, she, I never but she seen never would. Nervous. I've never seen him that nervous. Usually he's just composed. He speaks. His thoughts start popping up. He was nervous. Like... Visually, nervous. so what do you think as the he Grammys? What do you think as the Grammys? Because again, this could have been a playoff of last year. You know, we we negotiate. Okay, I, we 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 mended our beef. I come perform. I shut down the Grammys. Y'all y'all advertise my performance the entire rollout for the mm -hmm. Grammys. Mm -hmm. We do that. Bang. We come back next year and oh y'all played my wife. Like y'all still playing in my face. <laughs> how do you think now with them? I'm just speaking from the company side. How do you think they respond to that? I think they look at the numbers and say, yo, the Jay-Z right. Jay performance last year, our numbers are up. Mm. Maybe this year's numbers are up. And you know, all, and, they, No, the reports say this year's numbers are up, like 36%. Yeah, because I, I watched the whole Most thing. Yeah. since 2020. But, yeah, I watched the whole thing. But also, I think it's necessary that there was a change in the guard. Um, Neil Portnoy, he was the um, the CEO or chairman of the Grammys, mm -hmm. and he stepped down, what, in like 2019 or a couple of years ago or, yeah, years ago yeah. or something that like that? shit. Yeah, well, and yeah. also now he's got Stuff some like other that issues. Matters. He's got it, that matters. And I, I the chair, the now chairman was on the stage, and if I'm not mistaken, wasn't he black? He looked mixed. He, I'm not, I don't, I don't know for sure, but he wasn't white. Yeah, but that matters. I yeah, that definitely that, matters. Yo, two two board members turn into four, mm -hmm. turn into twelve. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. slowly but surely. But let's say Jay Z say fuck y'all, I don't want to sit on a board, or another black person says fuck y'all, I don't want to sit on a board. We don't see that incremental change that we see. Even you know what I mean? There's With no anything. point. There's no point in yeah. like being outside the boardroom yeah. where you can't hear what the change, fuck is actually change going don't on. Come from outside. It come from within. Listen, the speech was, I, I feel like the speech was necessary and it needed to be said. And if we took all the blacks in a room to go vote for who should give the speech, Jay-Z would be on my list. 
He would be the one. He'd be on my list. Your list? Yeah. It would be him. It gotta be him. I mean, I'd probably put back some more people down too, but <laughs> we got great blacks. At the Grammys? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, we got great blacks to speak. Yeah. They ain't I, gonna be heard like that. Yeah, it needed to be done by him. It did. It did. So Beyonce needed to have the big cowboy hat on hiding because <laughs> hiding her, she was gonna make it, but she was high as hell. I'm high as hell up here. <laughs> I'm about to laugh at all y'all stupid. <laughs> stupid. So what do you think about they said that um she made the face when he said that? Like oh, I don't agree with that. I think I think she got personally mad, like, yeah, fuck y'all. I don't think she was making a face at him at all. Yeah, that's what they said. <clears throat> like, like oh please. I didn't look at it like she that. She knew exactly she there was no way he she didn't know what he was gonna mm. say. Listen, that's what your husband is for, yo. Mm -hmm. You know that I have to support, I support this white girl. I'm showing up to Taylor's movie screening. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the concert. I'm wearing the, the clothes we matching. I'm doing all of that shit. But if I got a gripe about it, yeah, nigga, you go gotta, up there. You go gotta there, say Go up there, nigga. And you him. Rap. <laughs> and her gripe. Yeah, take a little Uzi with you. Get up there. And they, <laughs> yeah, and they did a good job. And, and they left right after that shit. The fuck you talking about? I love it. Hip hop. I needed that after seeing Killer Mike in handcuffs, after seeing the best rap album not be televised. I needed that. Mm -hmm. I did. And then right after that, album of the year was announced and... Dun, 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 dun. Taylor Swift. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> that was a crock of shit. It really was, because SZA should have fucking That won. was a crock of absolute shit. That Taylor... <laughs> Listen, coon later. Can you coon later? I ain't no cooning. Y'all just, just listen. Have you bro. listened to this why, album? Why, why, to why we got to be album? crazy because we have a different opinion than you? They're crazy. Welcome to our world. Mm. <laughs> you want to coon now or later? I coon right now. Get it. You call to call it cooning? Fam, business. They have been rolling Taylor Swift in front of the biggest stage, which is the Super Bowl, leading up to that, and the Grammys is a week before. What the fuck did y'all think was going to happen? What? Oh, that's going to be your answer to everything. Then we can't have a conversation. I'm telling you, look at this from, th bro, this has been a business play from the minute they started dating. This has all been a, a, a trap. They done got, they, this has been. Right, that's the problem. Right, oh, yeah. so the but Super Bowl, hold on, hold on, hold on. so Casey is going to win the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. What you problem, call a business play, I call white privilege. The problem is. To, yeah. to the highest, the, the to problem, the highest So level. the Super Bowl is a foregone conclusion and Kansas City is going to win. Fam, I don't, I, 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 I've problem, got money on Kansas City winning. I got money on a Kelsey MVP and the two-time touchdown. The problem is we can see through it though, Ice. <laughs> what the fuck is y'all talking about? When you can see it coming, that's what. You, we can see it. We we understand it. We've seen it a lot of times. Yeah, and, and we can see it, so we want to stick it. You want to stick your this head in the sand and act like you don't see it or call it out. I know Swifty that said that they would have picked Scissor over Taylor Swift for this particular album. Mm -hmm. That's cool. No, I really don't be wanting to sound like I'm capable. I just think it's math. I just I just think that the demographics are so largely skewed that it's a yo dog. White girls look at this girl like she's God. It's way more whites than us. Oh, yeah, I don't like. I don't like. Oh, I don't like. Man, let me ask you. Let me ask y'all this. Like let me, we, let me ask y'all this. I don't like that in, mu in the music. But look, look. The I'm Academy. Saying, no. The Grammys yes, are voted. There's more whites. Yes, there's more whites than blacks. She's Fact. there. When listen. I when I think of scissors, I think, and she the only one to spend like every uh, every week this year on Billboard. Correct. For this album, it's possible. Yeah. Don't just brush over that. That's not, that's not I something. I'm not at all. Let me ask y'all a question. The Grammys are voted on by the Academy, which is. Like y'all said, the, anybody uh, that's been nominated, I, 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 I voted. Joe could have voted. I don't know if he did or not. Of all of them people <laughs> that the voted, <laughs> you voted for Scissor? I did. Mm. <laughs> Do you think it's possible that there's a bunch of them in there that never heard of Scissor? No. No. You don't think that's possible? I don't need no. to know. Okay. No. No. I don't no. think that they okay. I think it's your job to know that's who the fuck she is. I don't think that's that they number do. one. I don't think that they haven't heard of her. Well, I heard this album and they may not put this album up. Her. She may not be their cup of tea. And if mm -hmm. we're also you saying... You got to talk about 65, 70-year-old white people that That's what I'm talking not about. But they not, might not that's know not, that. That's not all that's the not voters. All the voters. Yeah. I'm not saying. I'm just yeah. saying. He said some people. I'm just yeah. saying some in there. But they, they if, I, if I'm looking at the list of albums, right? Like how we do with the Oscars. Mm -hmm. We'll be like, yo, I ain't never heard of half of these shits. But the, mm -hmm. the, those who's who seen that movie. Yo, the, but the people that vote for this know who Scissor is. Yes, I, they do. 
So is the argument? What's the argument? argument? Is the argument is, that album of the year is strictly just a business decision, and who is in a, it's a popularity contest, and that's it? I don't think it's a popularity contest at all. I think it's always been a business decision. Mm -hmm. The big awards are business decisions. But then that contradicts your point about the Beyonce not winning album of the year over Beck. And I said that she should have won that one. I'm I'm in agreement that that she that was an upset. And she was wrong. Only that Adele particular one. And Adele won. If that's the case. Beyonce is business, bro. Like, be clear, she might not be, and she may be right on Taylor Swift's heels or equivalent, but Beyonce moves the needle. More than Beck, certainly. More than, and <laughs> yeah. more than Adele. I'm, with, I'm there. Outside I'm of music, with. Beyonce moves the needle everywhere. Yeah. Fashion, movies, whatever the case mm -hmm. may be, she's out here, fam. She's a force. Yeah. So I, if it's about business, then that contradicts that point. I don't think so. If it's about business and we pushing this person right here as our mm -hmm. next one, we've they, they do that. Tell me where Adele's somebody cleans the fuck up. Adele's been cross branded. Where I'm saying, if that's what the intention is at that time when Adele was nominated and she's cleaned up, you can kind of look at the Grammys. You can look at them and be like, oh yeah, this is they one right here. This is they person this year. So are you gonna just? So that's what I'm saying. Are you just gonna conform or are you gonna uh, want change? I, I ain't on the board. I can't do nothing about I'm it. I'm just saying. No, but when you speak about it, you're just saying like we have to just accept it for what no, it is. No, no, no. I'm not saying that's that how at you all. Come off though. I'm not. No, I'm not saying accept it at all. You need people that speak out against it. Got it. And but I'm saying you have to acknowledge it and call it out. This is what it is. It's not always just a. Uh, Yo, this person was right. No, sometimes there is a real reason behind it and behind even closed if doors. Even if it's right or wrong, you're just saying this is what it is. I'm saying that this is why it happened. Not saying I agree or, yo, yeah, she should have got that. Got it. But yeah, sometimes, yo, it's been a decision that's not about who had the better album and none of that. There was an, other reasons at play. Why, yo, we, there's money involved here. It's business. Maybe. Well, I think that some of that should have been communicated to uh, the good folk over at TDE because they did express some disappointment. Like they tweeted a little bullshit. Yeah. I'm sure. A little emoji. They should be. Yeah, they, they, they should was. be disappointed. This is a very successful. Y'all yeah, know where I stood on the album. I wasn't the biggest fan yeah, of it. But I I would be a fool to not acknowledge how this album was received. Just because it, 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 it didn't yeah. hit me that way. It's a dope album. As I said it when it dropped. I'll say it again. That girl got two classics. She do. Big mm -hmm. Jersey. Uh, let me just quickly run through the rest of these uh points I have here. Uh, who is Lionel Richie's Botox lady? <laughs> because, nigga, I told you, I just finished watching We Are The World. He looked the same? That nigga looked way better yeah. today. He was sitting right there behind yeah. Trevor Noah. I what was did like, Trevor Noah say? Lionel Wealthy, nigga. He looked like, yeah. 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 He looked like, yeah. And Smokey looked nuts in that We Are The World. <laughs> she seen Smokey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barely recognized him. Yeah, I was like, oh, that is when, when the shit came out. <laughs> That's when the shit hit the streets. That's where it got my dad to. <laughs> That's not, <laughs> nigga, that, was, that was eight. What year was that? that what year was that? Was that 1985? Huh? You can't say that while Smokey listened. What year was it? 85. Uh, yeah, nigga. <laughs> That's when a lot of us lost our dad. No. So when the whole neighborhood see, changed. Yeah, you ain't see that Smokey mustache? <laughs> and that fucking S girl bullshit he had? I didn't know who that was. Gang banging. <laughs> Gang banging. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Lionel Richie looks great. Uh, oh, man, what the fuck is Travis and his man doing up here? Oh, yeah. You two, yeah, <laughs> yeah hey, that was nasty. Hey, you two bozos. Get the fuck off the stage when niggas got beautiful women in tuxedos on. Honestly. <laughs> I was disappointed in me. And then you up there smashing shit. You got the nerve. This is after you. Like, you, you like that, right? I, hell no. Uh. That's, but that's, y'all, are y'all familiar with Travis shows or anything? It's on brand, you say, for him? 100% on brand. He didn't belong there. Same shit as the Super Bowl. He didn't belong there. All that shit look different when it ain't a thousand little white kids jumping up and down. Exactly. Hey, when, no, black, when there are grown this. people here, all that thing, 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 thing. That's what you wanted to win over Killer Mike? You fucking stupid, stupid, thing. Fiend, I was watching fiend, that shit like, fiend, why niggas get at you? I'm not gonna hold you. Fiend, look, look, look. Fiend, why they get at you? Fiend. Wait, and then you bring, and then you bring <laughs> your man out. This is how I knew I was in the fucking matrix. You bring your man out, Playboy Cardi. Uh oh, the crowd just stare silent. Playboy Cardi looked confused, like <laughs> y'all don't know who I am. No, nigga, you got a fucking mask on. Who the fuck are you under there? You are not at South by Southwest anymore. <laughs> We can't recognize you bozos by the stocking mask you're wearing. Okay. Damn, I nigga. hate these niggas, man. All of them. The fuck. Fee! Fee! 
<laughs> and I love that song. I, I, love, I love that song, but not when the tuxedos are out. Take that shit to the dirty Coachella grass, nigga. <laughs> Niggas showered and lathered themselves tonight. The Tom, fuck are you talking about? Tom hey. Ford fragrance, yeah, nigga. Yeah, what the Meryl fuck? Street get that shit out of here. The mm. fuck are you talking about? I've been saying. I mean, Taylor Swift was dancing. When it thing. comes to Travis Scott, he's only good at Travis Scott shows. I, I say this shit all the time. I love Travis Scott. You, I love his music. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I, go I, to like Travis Scott, I go to Travis Scott concerts. And it's a different experience. Travis but if you Scott. go see Travis Scott, like if it's a festival, not a festival, but if it's just like a concert and he's a uh-huh. special fuck guest them or something kids. like that, I think it I, don't fuck hit. Fuck those it kids. Don't hit, hey, yo, bro. Travis, we know you're still salty about what Egypt did. Nigga, let it go. Nigga, you couldn't do the pyramids, nigga. Come on and mm-hmm. change and, and, and go. Can't do that at the Grammys, nigga. Slamming shit. It looked crazy. I didn't crazy. even think, yo, I was watching that shit. Like, I thought it was set. a video. He started breaking the set. I couldn't believe it. We just had YouTube. Yo, was, he, the, was, he, the was, he really, was he really on stage? Or was it a video? Who? Travis? I think they played a video. I really, I don't think they had him on stage doing that bullshit. Oh, she does. No, you digging deep, nigga. Scientology, nigga. Nah, like you like you know the YouTube shit was at the Sphere. Yeah, the Sphere. Excuse me. So the crowd saw it on the screen. I think that's how they did. Try. I don't think they let them do that right, bullshit well, here. But, but listen, that shit still don't make me feel. That shit is good. Get shit this shit out of here, feel man. Better, son. You two perform you, at the sphere, nigga. You, you supposed to come up and lit, light that shit up. Yeah, you, you smashing chairs on some WWE shit. You <laughs> man is on a fucking speaker. Sorry, Joe. He's acting crazy. I'm with you. I'm with you, you too. You breaking your whole set. When them little kids, them dirty ass kids ain't jumping all around, it just looked like you got the worst migraine. <laughs> you're giving me the worst migraine. That's what you're doing. It, it looked like you having a seizure, like, and we have to witness it. God. It just, you just look, he just looked out of place. Anyway, like, you yeah. did not belong here. All right, mm-hmm. back to my notes here. Oh, God. Damn, Travis. Oh, like- yeah, Burner Boy. <laughs> Burner Boy. Monica killed it, though. I love my It was Brandy. Brandy. Yo, Brandy. Brandy. Yo, what's your Brandy, mouth? I fixed it. What's wrong with you? I told you. You, you, you really almost play. got jumped right Brandy. 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 I don't play about Brandy. Brandy killed it. Pardon I don't me. play about Brandy. Don't do that. I, I was listening to our records. My fault. Uh, I love seeing white people when African music comes on. <laughs> I do. Why? They can't, Why? They can't catch the beat. <laughs> <laughs> They just don't know what is going on. That nigga Burn the Boy came out. He's stuck. That nigga was like, was like, who is that? Hey, the way that you just spoke about scissor, that's how they look when Burn the Boy came out. They're like, uh, uh, oh, okay. He made him get up. So though. they did all his dance and then Brandy came out. Thank God. Word. Thank I, God. Had it, I had it on mute until she came out. Thank God Brandy came out because it's like, oh shit, now they do sitting on top of the world. All right, you in your bag. But them white people were still looking like zombies. Like, I wanted you to just hit him with the slap. Hit him with that. Shalo. <laughs> yeah, you up there doing the new joints. Fuck that. Whole crowd would have been way legitics. Yeah. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was supposed to. Wait, y'all not fucking with me? Shalo. But anyway, then 21 Savage comes out and 21. 21. Go ahead, say 21. That's my man. Yeah, I know. That's my man. That's my man. I love him. Mm-hmm. I love the album. Mm-hmm. Me too. 21 Savage. Bong, I got you. <laughs> you have to find two, at least two things to do on the stage when Burner Boy is getting into his tribal shit and Brandy <laughs> is up there being a goddess. You can't stand there just looking like a beef jerky. (laughs) You have to get a two-step at least. Hey, you have to at least smile, act like you like this song, move your shoulders a little bit, or or just hit them with the old school. Hey, hey, hey. but all of this. (laughs) Yeah, because he just came home, nigga. That's my man. That's my man. And of course you're gonna take that call, Brandy yeah, and got, fucking yeah, yeah. Burner Boy. You getting up there. But he was dressed fly, the camera kept yeah. he he did it, but he need a move or two up there. All that shit that y'all do at the Drake show, where y'all just bring out the big rectangle and walk around. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
No. You have to come on. Come on. Do the walk. <laughs> some some <laughs> some Cross your arms, little b boy. That's stands. my man. That's my man. But come on, twenty months. That was fun. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Victoria Monet got it back there. Oh, yo, <laughs> yeah. I had Are no y'all idea. just figuring this out? Nah, yes, I, know. I ain't know yes. she had it back. I, I know. I didn't she know. Was, she got a man too, so let's be She's respectful. Married. All night long. She's actually married. Yes. Yeah, she had that know. shit. I ain't know. I didn't know. I was so glad she won. And, and they too. played the music. Get off though. They played the music. Come on, Victoria. We know you're happy. Get though. Get off that stage. They played the music when she was speaking. <laughs> Get off! I was like, I felt them. Know why I fuck with Victoria? Because there was a there was a little bit of a commotion last year mm-hmm. when fans were saying that she should have been a presenter or a performer or something, and she tweeted that she had that conversation with the Grammy board, and they said it's too early in my story. So I want to thank 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 the board for that advice. My fans, I'm going to continue to work hard. Just know this won't be the last time. It, like she did all of that. And then she did it. Same she, like Killer Mike. She, she, will, came, she, she willed that. She another. willed that uh-huh. shit right to sure. her. She played the games behind the scenes, and she got it done. I agree. Shout out. She's to her. been she kicking ass. She's, She's been kicking ass. She had an amazing year. Shout out to oh, Victoria man. Monet. Uh, Can I give a shout out real quick see. while you look on your list? Mm. I just want to give a shout out to Coco Jones and her mother. Yeah, word. Mm-hmm. That, that's it. Shout out to Coco. They look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need help. <laughs> no, I just want to ask y'all. Just, no, excellence, yo. In this nigga's notes, it says Victoria Monet got, got it. it back, back there. there. <laughs> but we need help. <laughs> and she and do. I do. She got it back there. She do. Uh, Celine Dion speech fire. Taylor don't give a fuck about Celine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's it. That's my notes. I'm, I'm done. I like they had uh, Dave and Mark the 45 King and Magoo and Gangsta Boo in the memoriam. Mm-hmm. And, and the memoriam. saw that. Yeah. They nailed it. People do a really they they do a really good job with that. Sometimes they nah, don't. Really? Sometimes nah, they don't. Really? They, they forget names. A sometimes. lot of times they don't. Oh, I haven't. Almost every year they forget somebody that hip hop loves. Yeah. <laughs> really? This, 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 this year they didn't see them miss a beat though. The John rest Bat- in peace to everybody that we lost. Word. That that was beautiful. What happened? The John Baptiste nigga, he killed it. Killed you on this nigga dick? No, I'm not. He, <laughs> you keep talking about John Baptiste. No, I'm not. Nah, nah, nah. You better not come in here with no glitter boots. No, I'm telling I'm you right now. I'm gonna fry you up. I just got the nigga on the shirt. I don't. But he, killed, he killed it. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, he has a whole documentary online right now. I didn't know that. Thank yeah, you for you can telling check me. Check it out. Yeah. Thank it's you. On, I think it's on Netflix. And he's been arrested before. I think. Hello, <laughs> Hello. Yo, you a nasty ass hater. Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, Violated Lizzo too. We gonna talk about that later. Uh, oh please. I'm tired of seeing Lizzo, nigga. Well, come on. Lizzo tried to go drink some fucking diet tea and pop. When you was on the verge of going through what you going through, nigga, you ain't like ain't, niggas just forget. forgetting about you. You came back like Superman, ain't nigga. Forget Lizzo. You was shoving strawberries up, bitches. <laughs> she wasn't, man. <laughs> she was trying to make a whole fruit salad. So you believe in bitches? Huh? So you believe in bitches? Yeah. Uh, those women. Those victims. So we have to believe those women. victims. I, 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 yes, yes. Those women. <laughs> yes, you believe those yes. women? <laughs> yup. Yeah. You don't. I believe that. Okay. Sure. Do you? I keep my comments to myself. I don't have anything. Yeah, yeah. I also I think that, that happens every night in the music business. Too, Word. Or well, like shoving fruits on vaginas? <laughs> no. We're after the session or on some on off work time yeah. or on a break. We gonna run over here and, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. have some fun, Shots do whatever we think is fun. Yeah, air, we if someone looks air. like they're in their shell a little bit. We might try to get them out of their shell. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, man. Yeah. 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 You come out your shell with a banana. Well, sometimes, sometimes yeah. you like to pull it a little bit. Hey, nigga, talk about shoving. Got a little bit of banana in my bag over here. What's up? This nigga is too. I'm not doing this with Joe. What else? What else? What else is important? What else is important? I think that, that, that's about it with the Grammys. No, I'm done with the Grammys. I'm done with the Grammys. We, we did it. Oh, yeah. We did Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody, Shout to everybody that everybody. won. Congrats. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everybody that lost, everybody that was there, all the first time winners. I, I know it's got to feel good. Shout out to everybody that was in LA, everybody trying to get back from LA on them fucking canceled they flights, problems. delayed <laughs> flights. Niggas ain't, rain, coming, right? niggas, ain't, niggas ain't coming back from oh, LA. Yeah, everybody <laughs> going to Super Bowl. Niggas mm-hmm. going to Vegas. Yeah, they going to nah, Vegas. That's a, nah, the pause is coming back. <laughs> Everybody got it like that. Don't you crazy? The little 3,500 motherfuckers is going to Vegas. The rest of the motherfuckers is coming back home. The motherfuckers is working out there going to Vegas. Uh, oh, what is this about the new trend of tattooing faces on women? What, what's happening? 
it's, it's we keep seeing we we've seen two. We've seen two. Yeah, and I hope this it stops there. Selena Powell. Selena Powell got Antonio Brown tattooed on her face. Well, y'all be in a whole nother side of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> what you do? That doesn't pass your Explorer page? I told y'all that I have a list of people that I don't pay any mind at all, and Selena Powell and Christian mm. are both on that list. Here's the thing. Can they get it removed? You can get any tattoo you can removed. Get any tattoo but does it, leave a, like a, does it leave a scar or imprint? Uh-uh. I don't think they really I think all of us is too Sharpie. old to ever even say the word Selena Powell. <laughs> Honestly. I don't need- or Krishan. I think all of us is no, past past that age. I agree. But. Sorry. I'm j- I was Oh just- shit, I don't want to make it morbid, but I was talking about trends with my parents. Okay. All right. I was on the phone with my mom and then my dad called and I made a mistake and merged the call. Uh. <laughs> that's always that's always a mistake. Anyway, oh, so my dad at some point in the conversation said that is it just him or is being cremated becoming trendy and popular. Uh-huh. And then me and my mom laughed for mad long because that just sounds like a funny sentence, like trendy <laughs> to, to be <laughs> cremated. But his yeah. point was 15 years ago, 20 years ago, he didn't hear all of these people that are deciding to be cremated. So he, okay. so he asked me mm-hmm. what I wanted to do. And then I said, I'm not at that I didn't think I didn't think that through. Why not? Just yet. Um, I know I know that you're you're young and spry, but anything can happen. I just had the conversation tomorrow. Oh, come so on, God. Oh, no, you're making it messy. Nah, I'm that's, not. I'm, no, I'm, no, it's no, fucking real life. I don't think so. Uh, I just don't know where I stand on uh, cremation, cremation versus burial yet. True. A lot of niggas in the hood get cremated yeah. because they don't got the money. Yeah. Nah, I, I just that's um it. I'm doing my will. Yeah. I'm doing my will. So my girl and I had what to I want. From you, <laughs> anything? You still, so you started your will already? I need five bands. Yeah, I, I'm finishing that. <laughs> I need you should bands. have a will. I need five bands. You, you have children <laughs> and a wife. You should have a will. You should have a will and life insurance. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. I'm just all right, man. You know, thank you. I got you. Still <laughs> you know what it is, man? <laughs> I, I, it's, sad, it's, it's sad to say, but I don't. I didn't accept that I'm gonna die yet. Oh, you don't have to accept. You don't, I don't, accept, you don't I know, have to accept I, it, but you got to be when, realistic when, when about I it for your children. When I sit there in the dark children. in the shower, else ain't accept it. Wait, hold on. All them niggas you just said in the hood that's getting cremated. When I sit there in the dark, get a fish fry, and I try to avoid and control my environment the best way I can, but anything can happen. But I haven't accepted it yet, and that's a problem that I battle within myself. Can I just tell you yeah. something? Want to accept Look, it? Okay, you know, so, unlock some trauma. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Why you got to do that? See, that's the problem. What battle you trying to? And that's selfish. Stop doing that, nigga. You little crybaby when you get headaches, you lock yourself in the fucking room. Fuck you. Because yeah, you brought the trauma to the pot. Yeah. This was your topic. Trauma, man. No, I don't think the topic is trauma. Exactly. But I don't think that so, reaction. Was I'm just saying, I, some niggas. I, I don't have my mother encouraged me, my wife, but I don't have it. I'm gonna look into it. If anything happens to you, irresponsible. I'm just saying it's very. If anything happens to you, the hell you will put your family through when it comes to probate and when it comes to your estate, and then it it will be hell on earth for your family. Lot. He married. See, hmm? that's, he married. That's yeah. the point right there. Uh, but no, I, me, my girl and I, we, I'm doing my will. So my girl wants to be cremated, and uh-huh. it kind of fucked me up. Like, word, that was her. Me, I'm like you. I'm sitting on the fence. Like, cemeteries are for the living, who not the for the dead. But who gonna take my ashes? You know what I mean, you ain't be having my shits on rotate. Well, can, my, my dad, take them, my, throw them somewhere. My dad said, <laughs> throw them somewhere. That's hate. <laughs> no, I. I Yo, mean, Mel, you know Sam. what I mean. My dad said that he well, was gonna let. His kids decide, which I laughed at because, nigga, they not deciding shit. I'm deciding. <laughs> my little brothers can't tell me where to fuck to put my dad. Nah, that's not true. They can't tell. When no, niggas, I'm telling when you. When them little niggas I get 30, you what, ain't going to be the same. I don't me. care what age. Yo, they can't tell me where to put him. That you ain't so gonna I no told him, I'm going to put you in a nice little necklace. I'm going to divvy it up. And then he said something slick. I said, nigga, all right, oh, I will put fun. you in the garage <laughs> by, by, Yo, by the weight. That's kind of fire. That's what he got. got yeah, he, he got that. I got a necklace, yeah, nah, I got a necklace I'm too. Get, yeah, I'm going to get a necklace. And I'm going to get my little brothers a necklace. And we'll all just have. I'm yep. scared of the necklace, though. Oh, my God. You think niggas going to take that from me? Word. <laughs> oh, like, shit. Oh, you shit. You might lose your shit. I'm, I'm kind of frivolous when it comes to Oh, no, then I'm taking my brother's dad. Yo. Like yaxi, yo. Yaxi. I'm taking, hey, give me dad, nigga. 
I gotta be the only person. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, you can creep, baby. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't. Care. I'm going. Like, do whatever makes it easier for y'all. But I don't have a like. Yo, I gotta be here or there. Like my grandparents, they got um, the mausoleum wall uh-huh. that they go in. They got like, four spots in there. Um, we put my uncle in one, and like I, personally, my grandparents got some money. I don't want to be uh, open casketed though. Don't be you looking don't. at me all dead. I don't. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I told my mom I'm not putting her next to her mom. You can't do that if she wants to do that. Nigga. You can't make that decision, bro. Yo. When yeah. my parents transition, I'm the boss. You can't do that, bro. <laughs> You're a selfish motherfucker. And they no, gonna I'm fuck not. you up. I'm going to fuck you up for them. If I'm, I'm going to fuck you up for them. You can't do that. If she wants to be buried next to her mother, you have to honor that, bro. No, you don't. People no, you try don't. their best. That's foul. That's foul. I already told, I told her. I can't told her. No, that's foul. You're not here, that's my nigga. That's wrong. Niggas. You have to, are you supposed to try your best to honor their legacy I told and, 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 and honor their wish. request? You want me to put you in Staten right. Island somewhere? I'm <laughs> never going to Staten Island. And I want to go to, I want to see you still, so. Jones, wow. so move you. I'm not going to fucking Staten. Oh, mom, nigga, we don't have no, we have no business in Staten. We Are never, you crazy? We never came you here. You can't say that. Why don't you move mom? Exactly. Move your grandma move, there. Move, move her mom. Whoa. You got the money to do so. Picking people up. All right. What's weird? What else we got? <laughs> what else? What else? What no, else? you can. What you else can we do got? that. Huh? You can do that. Yeah, that's really the trick. Y'all keep thinking that our loved ones is where we left them. They uh, not. They, no, they, they, they put and that casket them. you picked ain't what's that? Come mm. on, man. That seven thousand dollar casket I was did so not go sure. in the you dirt. Took this one? Seven thousand. You better go to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> they, you got the casket. Costco got the used joints. Seventy five dollars <laughs> used. A used casket is crazy. They, they are. You, uh, you, you gotta be both. Hold on. Is there anything wait, that wait. can be used? It's a casket, my nigga. How? All right, I'm knocking on. All right, let's keep it. Are you serious? Not, oh, yeah, no, not I know how, but it shouldn't wood, be. Nigga. It shouldn't be used. Oh, Fam. Not gonna That's how they cut costs. All right, all right, all right, Stop. you guys. You want right. like a lot of shit with us? <laughs> I just got a business idea. <laughs> Fuck y'all talking about. Oh, my God. Caskets. Crazy. These niggas are crazy, y'all. It's what you was telling us today, son. About what? You talking about these white people you said to Corey, man. You sending Corey videos that you recording white people fighting. What's that about? I didn't. You, you always got to put a spit on it. We, I sent Corey a video. Corey. Of, that you recorded of I white people re- fighting. <laughs> you should be ashamed. What are you doing at these rallies with the white folks? Oh, shit. You really just, you really, yo. <laughs> what are you doing in recording a fight and send it to a, a nigga that came home? Look, nigga. You ain't going to jail this day. Look, look. <laughs> yo, what's what, can you tell you, us? Yo? yo, what's wrong with your brain? What's up? Yo? What happened? No, I just sent Corey a video of a, a a community if these white people was fighting at a wrestling event for the kids. And it was just funny. I, when you watch white people fight, they just can't fight. They be jump kicking and shit. <laughs> and they be slipping too. And when they slip, they go, what? Oh. Time out, time out. They just be doing the funny and shit, yo. Why they call, that time I said don't work in her. Yo, yo, chill, wait, nigga. No. Oh, yeah, like, yo, it's just hilarious to watch them fight. They just oh, oh swinging shit. and punching and shit. You be like, yo, what are you doing? Like when, when they don't have no training, like they, some of them niggas could box, some yeah, niggas be yeah. doing the MMA and all that. But if they don't have none of that, it is like two country hillbilly niggas shooting yeah. the field one. You gotta catch them away from a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> they live by Walmart, just assume they got some shit on. Yeah, Leave yeah, it alone. Yeah. A ninja star or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's a ninja new new rifle. <laughs> <laughs> small, small one. Niggas is crazy, yo. Mm. Yo, Elmira, they used to be getting it in. Fight? Hell yeah. Bar fights. Elmira, that, that, was, bar fights. that was bar fights. Par for the course. But but is it like on the movies parks where when they have bar fights they're destroying the bar? Is that no? Okay, so nobody destroys the bar because I always uh, wanted. No, the, I haven't seen it anyway. Okay. I'm sure it happens. Like they break the glass and throw the chair. Nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, nah. Okay, nah, that's nah. white people shit. Black they slide a motherfucker down the countertop. Nah, you go outside. Oh shit! <laughs> speaking of crazy white people, uh, the Trump the Trump fan that the Trump supporter that killed his dad and beheaded him and put his dad's head in a Ziploc bag on Facebook Live from PA or something, right? Yo. Can I just tell y'all out there? I'm not sure we should look that up and find out. Um, Let me tell y'all out there. No matter who you want to win the next election, you cannot kill your dad and behead him and put his head in a plastic bag on Facebook Live, yo. What are you crazy whites doing? Over a presidential election? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dad was a Biden supporter. So so the report said. Y'all didn't hear about that? I I heard about that. I didn't hear the details, no. but 
Rest in peace of that, man. Jesus. Mm-hmm. And where the fuck does he get his Ziplocs? <laughs> I was about to say, yo, what he had? <laughs> My yeah. bags can't fit nobody head. And they got the- White people got them industrial <laughs> Ziplocs. <laughs> the four gallons. Yeah. You, you, you put a turkey in. You got to make that meth. You got to get that meth pop. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, no, nah, that's a horrible, Yo, horrible, that's horrible story. Crazy, mm, horrible dude. story. Uh, all right, come on, on to something fun. <laughs> well, we got this fun. Oh man. Oh, uh, can we get back to music real quick? Sure. Yeah. Lotto. Mm. She's coming. She went to the Bronx. She's in the Bronx. It's fouled. She's coming. She got the picture. Picture in front of all the pictures. Dog. This is about to be bad. I ain't gonna lie. You. I, it's your fault. This is about to be you so You amped it. They bad. listen to your dumb ass. You talk about, I want female. Lotto, that chill, yo, hype. chill. Nah, don't say chill now, nigga. <laughs> we got footage of you saying, yeah, nigga, let's turn up. Now, look, she in the Bronx, in the in the girl's hood. You know how we got to respond now. Where the fuck Lotto from? Detroit? Where's she from? I need Atlanta. a vacay. I'm missing my Atlanta. tan. Go I'm going to say, I said, Ice Spice can't go to Detroit, nigga, just do a video on the block. I'll go down to Atlanta and do it. Well, she may, I don't know. They may fuck with her. I need a vacay. I'm missing my tan. I lose anything before my man. <laughs> Yo, that, you're right. I walked past the club in Queens. I didn't go inside. That shit, they was taking that shit out the door. <laughs> Bitches is thick, but I'm thicker. <laughs> that shit out the door. Yo, all that shit is cute. Until Lotto go and get 97 Escalades and pull them up to your mm-hmm. block while you at the Grammys with the stylist picking out that bullshit baby fat denim outfit that mm-hmm. you had on. Mm-hmm. And told she just won a one on one. Lotto pulling up to your block to shoot the video to a diss song called it's, Sunday Service. It's, it's dropping out be, on Friday. It's gonna be yeah. bad. It's one of the most. It's, it's crazy. It's gonna be bad. I, I blame got you, you on the cover. It. Huh? Got her on the cover. Got Shorty on the cover. Yeah. She got a bunch of got all, all the women rappers. Um, like mug shots, and one of them is uh, Ice Spice. Mug shot. Mm-hmm. Ice Spice. I love you, and I love what you're doing. Apologize. I yeah. told y'all. Apologize. Say sorry. No, no, no. Because no, no. your beef ain't even that. a beef. Like, I caught the little Insta live. He was like, oh, uh, why that bitch got my... She got her video my behind video why, why she doing her little snippet? Girl, mm. abort that plan. No, we here now. That is not the problem you want. <laughs> we here oh. now. Lotto, chill. No, don't chill. Honestly, for real, on the strip for me. <laughs> hey, Lotto, fuck that. Nah, on the strip, <laughs> on the strip for who I be, Lotto, please. Please, yo, We chill. on your side. You sat down on the couch with us. No. We uh, fucking with you. Go do, uh, do, do what you got to do. It's so frustrating. They tell you don't bark up that tree for a reason. Uh, well, she been barking. No. Yo, so, Joe, shut your phony ass up. No. Yeah, yeah, he oh, just a bird. He whole shit. No, 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 nigga, let's get on him. No, yeah, he just uh, a, he a bird. He hyped his whole shit, <laughs> y'all. He did. Now, she, Lotto mm-hmm. listens. The she dog said, you know in what? the park or something. Yeah. Because like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought that it was Lotto would be too busy, big, and booked to actually record a diss track and pull all them trucks up to a block. But I forgot that Lotto loves this shit. That's where she from. Like, she, she's, she's from like that. a rapper rapper. Yes. She want to rap. Told like, you. She want to disappear. I'd say it's all fun and games until she decided she did she not, went to the She did Bronx, not want to be yes. at the Grammys. How many Escalades was there? A, 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 a lot. A block full. Yeah. A bonch. <laughs> block full. A fleet. You couldn't believe that shit. Uh, that was a fleet. Lotto, <laughs> yo. On the strength of, on the strength of uh, who I be, please, yo. Or just for New York. Yo, I hate this day. Hey, Lotto. For New York. Do don't it for New York. Don't listen to none of that shit he's saying. Nah, this Starbucks beef is getting out of hand. <laughs> Ice Spice and Lotto. Lotto! That's funny. That was good. Come on. Yeah, that was... That was, that was come good. on. That was that was fire. Fire. Come oh, on. You got that. Chill, though. She's the one on the floor till I get her. up. We need yeah, her. Yeah, we need, we need her, Lotto. Mm-hmm. Lotto. All right, that's it. That's Lotto. all I got. Ain't none Lotto. of that shit going to work. Lotto go going. Lotto, she... I know. Lotto rap too good to name a song. The Sunday Spanish service. niggas in the Bronx was recording. Lotto. <laughs> and a clue to look at Lotto. Uh, oh, shit. Niggas is phony, man. I love y'all niggas, but come on, son. Oh, I ain't tell you. They, they caught that dirty ass nigga that stole my bag, too. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Justice is so yes, oh, justice. Justice. Round of a fucking blow. The streets feel safer already. <laughs> wait, wait, what? That's right. Dirty ass nigga. How they got him? Tell us, nigga. I'm tight. You tight. Because he, he Why you tight? his bag is still missing. Yeah. <laughs> my, my bag is still missing too. I ain't make pump it up. Them niggas said they quit after two days. Why you a <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker on my shit? You know what I mean? Celebrity I, niggas. I never got shit. my bag back. How they call it? Well, the, the bag is gone. The What's bag the story? is over. The bag is smoked, sold somewhere. It's yeah, gone. The bag was sold. Yeah, they, yeah, they took that shit to the chop shop. <laughs> <laughs> the porn shop, nigga. Give me $5 for this yeah. shit. Well, the guy went, went to uh, Kennedy Airport. 
to catch a flight and start stealing colognes. <laughs> oh, shit. So they caught him stealing colognes. From they, duty free? Like from like a Yeah, we know free. one of the kiosks yeah, yeah, yeah. in the front. Yeah. And they caught him and then they looked at the foul and said, ah. Got you. We got you. So go me. You going to court? So time out, it wasn't an employee? No. Oh, oh wow. Really? No. So we thought it was an employee. That's what I thought. No, I've been found out that it wasn't an employee. It wasn't an employee. That's why Delta started telling me something they did. <laughs> <laughs> when it wasn't an employee. Once it was somebody that just saw a Louis bag and ran out with it. I'm never doing that again. Well, yes, I am. I'll do the air attack thing now. I'll do the air attack thing now. I did it wrong before, but just, justice is served. Just do the Amex thing. What's the Amex thing? How many Amexes you got? Two. Two. What colors? Black. Uh, oh, you said, no. Go, black and blue? The platinum? The platinum? Yo, why do you, I, why are you on this day? How you know I'm all not, that? Yo, she be like, I, 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 you know a lot, we, though. We yo, and, and that's why you be getting, see? She we knows talking about, to him. I should know the Amex. Let me Stop see. Stop licking your lips, too. I don't too. know why she know how, what Amex <laughs> oh. is. Oh, she pulled, pulled him out in front of Mal and Imani. Yeah, nigga. Yo, get up. Yo, stop. Yo, what's your nonsense? My son full of clash. Yeah, you know, Imani. Every kiss begins with ish. Let's go, nigga. Stop, man. This is stupid, yo. How long took you to get that? Not long. You could get one tomorrow. You could. I know. I got one already. Um, you know, I ain't get that black. You got black? You got the black, Joe? No. You ever had a black car before? No. <laughs> you, li- you lying? <laughs> I don't believe him. You lying? I think I'm lying. Yo, do you, do you know that Generation Generation Z says that, according to the news this morning, that niggas carrying wallets is dunzo? Oh, it is. That shit is bogus. All you niggas is old and whack and washed. That's what they said. <laughs> Damn. I'm with them. I'm with For real? Too. I'm with them, mm-hmm. too. Yeah, I did see a nigga with a fat wallet. It was like, look at this doofy. I just got the little. Thin, I, thin I got shit. the little slim shit that you yeah. hit the button and just your cars pop out. But even that, I don't carry that shit no more. Yeah, once, 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 yeah, yeah, those. Once, once, uh, once the state <laughs> get the digital license, I'm cool. I only carry it for that. I need my ID on me. And I only mm-hmm. keep one card in there. I don't mm-hmm. even keep the other cards on me. Shit, half these motherfuckers got the case on their phone that hold two cards, and they just throw it in there. True. Yeah. Boy, um, I got a wallet, nigga. Are you old? Well, you should have a wallet. You and Mel. I don't I have a wallet. wallet. Too. You and Mel got wallets. I have a digital wallet. <laughs> Baffled. And a wallet. <laughs> I have a digital wallet. Yeah. There you go. You got a wallet. You're mad excited. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, you a hater, huh? Um, What do we have here? All right, I'm cool with wherever, wherever we want to go. Got to tell y'all, man. Yo, you the man, son. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, no, I'm, no talking, I'm talking to this one. Right well, I agree with man? I agree with that. It's man. It's just the man. Wow. We've been saying We went out... Um. Uh, they had the the HBCU um, basketball classic at the Prudential oh. Center. Ish so, was hooping. Oh my God! Wait nah, a but second. you know, you know how you know Ish is Ish. HBCU man. Ish was there. Sure. HBCU basketball tournament in Newark. Yeah, where 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 I'm from? Okay, well, we don't get from there. Fuck with you. <laughs> 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 so me, me and my peoples got there early, and um, we all laughing because we know Ish coming. So we was like, Yo, what? Well, I ain't even tell you. No, I think we did tell you. We were taking bets amongst ourselves. This thing gonna come in either in all bright colors or all white. Something that make him stand out, like on the walking. We did the science. It was all white. We right? do the science on you. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna wear all white in February. That's what you think about me. Did he wear all white? Yeah. The, uh, I, yes. <laughs> yes. It is. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You had blue in your sneakers. That's what you think I will wear in the middle of February. Is he lying? He's definitely. Lying. What you have on Ish? I had on a gray sweatsuit. I didn't see you, so I don't know. The same, you see what Corey got on? The same color. It was not. It was white. All right. Anyway, I want to hear from the ISIS version. Yeah, I bet you do. I want to hear ISIS version. The one that really me. Go ahead. So, white after Labor Day. (laughs) I I even told him, I said, Serial Mom would have fucked you up. It was snowing, too. That's what I'd add on, right? (laughs) HBCU came in, Hampton hat on. Wait. (laughs) I was like, (laughs) same word. All right. All right, I believe him. Yo, <laughs> of course I you would. You don't believe anything he said. Go ahead. I but had nah, a Hampton we, hat on. This thing is a fool. I had well, give a, it to me. I don't, I, I'm trying to. I'm letting him get his little rebuttals. No, because he don't know. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm with you, Joe. Watching Ish is a show in itself. Yes. So me, our two homies that was there, we just like, yo, look at look at your man, look at your man, look at your man. 
He go get online, get his candy, all that shit. Walking everywhere. Every, that everywhere. Leg, <laughs> walking <laughs> everywhere that legs can take him to be seen by all, anybody with eyes. Yo, that's what there. it was. That is what this nigga do everywhere he go on yo. some light skin, haze wise shit. We all sitting down. We chilling. There we wasn't sit. even nowhere else left to walk. <laughs> this nigga just sit down. We was like, yo. Be humble. <laughs> I believe them. I believe it too. Yeah, no, you, that was you starting to get this pod thing down. Fam, I, I, I started to get dog, this pod thing down. I, I can call people that can. How many people recognize you? Story. <laughs> Answer that. In the stadium? Uh, How much people oh recognize you? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Oh In there, God. wherever you was at. A few? Anywhere outside of your house. Yeah. <laughs> a couple. You gave a lot of daps? Yes. A few. Mm-hmm. Took some pictures? Some. Anytime, wow, come anytime, on, I'm trying to think. Yes, yeah, I don't We don't have to yeah, think. We got it, big dog. Okay. Fair. Well, anytime just, he go out, it's politician time. This shit, that's what it felt. That's what it looked uh, like. He got to show that he's shaking support hands, the, kissing babies, whatever the politician. He got to show be. that he support the HBCU. You know that. You know. You gotta, and I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. On the road of cleaning up the whole lineage thing, I'm like, salute. I'm proud of you of supporting. He in there trying to see who went to Hampton in '96. Hey, wait, hold up. They was in there. I'm sure. <laughs> he was looking around, wasn't you? H U. They was in there. You they know. Was, they was going crazy. Anyway, Ice is lying. Oh, I no, came man. in late. I hadn't eaten. Ice and them was sitting down eating. I went and got some food. I didn't even get no candy. This nigga learned it from you how to be a potter now. It's cool though. It's cute. I was in there. I see I've seen you outside. So yeah, I, it was just we funny. don't even have to. It do was this. funny because the, the people I'm with, we all was watching this. Yo, look at this nigga. Yo, he really is that's, like. That's fire, though. That's fire. It is fire. Yeah. He and, just and, won't lean he into it. He walk around yeah. like he got the first Gordon Gartrell on. <laughs> <laughs> he walk around. He walk around like he right. take a shit and use that little pope, the, the poop spray. Yeah. <laughs> He sprayed beforehand. Yeah, that sprayed it. The yeah, odorless. Yeah. <laughs> they got odorless shit since the guys asked. So when done. you get when you <laughs> wait, 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 wait. when you come out the bathroom, they you know they they impressed. Yo, that nigga, it shit don't stink, son. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking nah, movie. but shout out to my guy, Ish, man. That shit's a movie. Bunch Watch of it. idiots. That shit's funny. Um, you know, oh damn. Let's see here. What do we have? Lil Meech says, "Gay for pay is gay." He just said. He was talking about acting. Yeah. He was saying if you'll take a bag and act like a gay person, then that's gay. Oh. Mm-hmm. I know who he's directing that. He to. told me that shot that was, that, that was yeah. in that Little yeah. Murder. Yeah. That was in that video. Um I, I mean Twin I, I, have, like, the guy that was in the video, they were telling me about the guy mm-hmm. that he uh did a scene with the transgender. Okay. So I'm not sure I didn't watch it, but I, I remember that was a topic the other day inside the barbershop. I see yeah. where he's going with that. I don't agree with that. The guy in the money law video, I'm sorry. It's bad. Because I think to be gay, you have to have a sexual encounter with the person of the same sex. If you don't do that, I don't think it's gay. If, the, if you kiss a man, what is that? And the, 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 just curious. <laughs> and I'm leaving this in 20 so seconds because I don't trust any of you. you so I don't trust any of you. I'm sitting so. here muting up. And I, I, I don't want to mute up. If you kiss a man, what we, does that mean? We disagree. On this topic, what what he, what he's saying? I think this. I think that um, to be gay, you have to have an affinity for the same sex. You have uh-huh. to be attracted to, yeah, right. However, if you do not have an affinity for the same sex, then you, I'm me. I can't tongue kiss no man on camera for a check. Me neither. You're not an actor. I know. So it's just a job. Like you feel I like think some people do approach it like a job. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I could pay you and you could come over and act that way, then <laughs> the fuck talking? expound. How? Wow. You said then. I wanted to hear what your complete thought. Of. Oh, then I understand somebody with these with this belief system. I just think some niggas would do anything for a check. True, but I don't. You know. It's limits to certain people and other people is not limits. You agree with Meech or you disagree with Meech? Uh, I don't know where I stand on that, but I do understand what he's, I think I understand what he's trying to say. But I've never acted. I agree with you. I couldn't do that if yeah, somebody I, paid me yeah, to do it. No, oh, you just act, you just play around in the podcast. If a girl, if a girl, if a, no, I try to appeal to as many fans as possible. But you, but you, what you, I try. But, you, but you disrespect. No, no. That's what I try. But you're to disrespecting do. them because you're playing with you something that you're not a part of. The exact. No, opposite. you're disrespecting their culture or their profession. way of life, it's, their decision 
or their way of life because no, yeah, if you want to stop me, but it's true. Uh, I don't care. That's not um, true. Yeah, of course, I got it. If a girl comes over that don't want to fuck, <laughs> and I paid her so she fucks, then the fuck's gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. If he come over, if I could pay you and you can come over and get and get into whatever act I'm paying you to do, uh, regardless of your sexual preference, then I see that person looking at it like, all right, you get. Yeah, but you're not fucking them. In the, no, no, in you the, are in my in my scenario. I'm not talking, I'm talking about, about in the act. Okay, well, I'm I'm leaving it to the movie shit. Like in the movie shit, they're you're acting out a role. You're not actually fucking that person. Man, men and women, oh, man, and you're, women you're ain't mimicking it. Yeah, you're mimicking. Yes, it, to, uh, a, a man and a woman, they not even fucking in the movie. It's just acting. It's just you're doing your job, and then when it's cut, I go back and I'm, I'm in character for a few minutes, and then I'm out. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I don't look at it that way. Okay. Um. Free Lisa Ann. <laughs> Free Lisa Ann. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you good, yo? I, I know that hurt. Nah, they locked up you know I me. Mean? Lisa, Lisa Ann, the porn star, was arrested at the Matt Reif uh the Matt concert. the Matt Reif concert in Times Square. Allegedly she pulled her phone out to record and they snatched her ass out of there because the Matt Reif ticket is a hot ticket and there's no phones. Freezing. And she came out screaming, oh, my God, help. This is not a bit. This is that, not an That act. was the funny shit. You know why they did that? The right? time we live in today. No, no, no. This is real. This is yeah, real. This is, you better say it's real. <laughs> I still thought it was a little uh, fake. Me too. It did look a little fake. I know she'd be taking that button. I don't hear get, what you're saying. She had to get the same treatment. <laughs> he said she'd be taking that black meat, so she had what? to get the same treatment. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's wrong with this rat? I didn't hear what he said. Yeah, I, I, I meant it on purpose. Oh, Queen snitch. Yo, yo, it was just hilarious okay. to see her. I'm sure she didn't find it that way, but it looked like a skit almost. It did. We don't see white women get taken out in cuffs, especially famous ones. Well, especially that famous one, because Lisa Ann could have got out of that. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> hey, if she wanted to be unarrested, I think she could have got it done. <laughs> so maybe, I don't maybe, really maybe, believe maybe, it. Maybe that, but, yo, cop, what, maybe that wasn't a cop bag. What's your name, shit. officer? Yeah, Google shit. me. Google Frank me. King. I'm yeah. saying no, all no. the bags is her bag. I'm, I'm saying, saying the cop. This, this could go away, officer. I mean, if this was Lewis Ann, then maybe I'd have let you off. Of course, back in the back in the back of his back seat. Yeah. Make some all these. I still want to meet Lisa Ann. <laughs> Me too. I do. I want to meet Lisa Ann. Me too. You guys are heathens. Yeah, why? Uh, if she's still in New York, maybe she should come up and pile with us. There she you lives go. in New York. No. Oh. Hey, you stalking her. <laughs> <laughs> you know where she lives. She <laughs> got pods and sports shows and all that. Really? How do you know that ish? I follow I her. She does, she does a hmm. fantasy sports show. Wow, you keep oh, it you know too much. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's a fan fan. Oh, look, 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 look at Big Mal. Hate, I'm look not. Big I'm, I'm not. <laughs> look at Big Mal. Look at Mal Hayes. I'm she, not. I didn't know what she looked Mal like. Look at Mal Hayes. I'm not. I just. Word. Every conversation don't got to be about you. That's the first thing that came up on Google Images. I'm surprised. Word. I, I yes, that's me. her. <laughs> yeah, now, okay. why did you find the most unattractive picture of Lisa Ann while Ish's going crazy over? That's all I did. Crazy. I think she's pretty. Mm-hmm. Who asked you what you thought of Lisa <laughs> Ann? I'm d- nobody. Lisa Ann is solidified. Okay. All she's that shit you said. One you of the best do. actresses of our <laughs> lifetime. Do all she do it. Well, God bless her. <laughs> to death. God bless but her. But we was blessing her before you jumped in and hated. I wasn't hating. I just wanted clarification. I didn't know who she was, so I, that was her. Okay, cool. She's um. She's in a different tab than you use. <laughs> I believe. Or not. That. Or not. No, she is. No, nah, she's, she's not. not <laughs> She's, She's in a different tab. Yeah. Okay. She's not. She getting up and getting that thing right when it's time to leave the door unlocked. <laughs> and a few niggas could come in that room. She gonna handle that shit like Thor. <laughs> she gonna <laughs> all the hammers. That's what this McMahon okay. should have been texting. <laughs> Every last hammer. Or, he might have. Vince McMahon. Oh, you think Lisa Ann ain't been down to the WCW convention <laughs> center somewhere? <laughs> you think she ain't been to an MMA party or two? Saying is her. Anyways, Don yeah, look, these niggas will big up some white queen. Hey, hold on, <laughs> these niggas. That's this one. These niggas that's will the, big that's up. That's what some... I do. Okay, I don't big up none of the others. Right? It's all right. You got it. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hold the on. others. What you mean? Oh. Every ethnicity. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. What's up, Flip? Speaking about wrestling, there's a lot of things going on in wrestling that I wanted to talk about. What's oh, up? Okay. What's up? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, so, you know, right now the. Wrestling community is mad. You know, the WWE is receiving its biggest backlash because they, Cody Rhodes was supposed to face Roman Reigns mm-hmm. um, and finish his story. 
Okay. Roman Reigns has been a champion for about four years. And they removed Cody Rose and put The Rock there. Ever since The Rock became a board member at TKO, he, I guess, used his power and pull and removed Cody Rose from completing the story and put himself to face his cousin Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. 40. Mm -hmm. So right now, the WWE is receiving this biggest backlash. It's getting a lot of dislikes on YouTube. Everybody's in the uproar. And the reason why The Rock did it... <laughs> That's oh, the same shit. thing I said. Ooh. Damn. Look at this Rock. No, no, WrestleMania. No, no. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Cody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The reason why... I'm a board I, member. I, I was, we just bought this shit for mad <laughs> billions. Yeah. You I have to, to run go. It up. Finish your little story <laughs> in the YouTube you shorts. Summer Slam. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why The Rock did it... Is Take that shit to caffeine. It, it, what the fuck? Take the caffeine. Y'all over here googling who this nigga is. The, re the reason why The Rock did it is because to take all the heat from the Vince McMahon situation. You know, the Vince McMahon said, you know, they're trying to yeah. erase Vince McMahon it's and a business they're, trying to, decision. they're trying to erase Brock Lesnar too because, you know, what? allegedly he was the person named in the lawsuit. But I'm with erasing Brock Lesnar. To, 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 to take the heat off of WWE pertaining to Vince, they put The Rock there. And it's being talked about everywhere. ESPN. Everybody's talking about it, but the fans are just pissed off. Just to have the justice for Cody hashtag, we want Cody hashtag, and hopefully WWE do the right thing. But I think I well, guess what's the, the right thing uh, uh, to give it uh, to give it to the fans to let Cody <laughs> Rose complete their story. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yo, hey, the rock, cause they hey, said hey, the rock. I'm with you. This is a business decision. <laughs> but, hey, yo, they boo, yo, this is a business they decision. They booing The Rock's daughter at NXT, son. They that's cool. Booing, oh, they shit. wildin', son. That's cool. Yeah, the good. Rock haven't they'll, faced as much backlash since 2000. He'll be fine. Something tells me. Yeah. Yeah, about a couple yeah. hundred million things. That was, so. the bo that was the board he'd been trying to get on. And they gave his name back. You could be The Rock. Go ahead, trademark. Maybe you're right. right. You're right. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Cody. Cody. Don't do that sorry, joke, Cody. Cody Rose. Who the fuck is Cody Rose? Yeah, sorry. Cody Rose is Dusty Rose's son. Oh, oh please. Yeah. Please, please. And Gold Dust brother. Oh, yeah. nah, that's my oh, man. Oh, please. Yeah, Cody Rose. American he left back in the days ago. Dusty Rose. Out of here. Yeah, 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 you should be done retired anyway, nigga. Did you see the nigga face it? You got to see the nigga face in the ring when The Rock whispered there and shook his hand. That shit. It's, it's fucked up. It's business. And I'm a fan, I'm a fan of The Rock. So are hundreds of millions of people out there, nigga. Hundreds of millions of dollars are fans of his, too. I got you. He keeps them nice and warm. What's that about uh, when you see the old work? I ain't seen none of my old work in a while. It but says when you see funny. the old work... Who thinks she's fine? Think she's, I know you can't see, girl. girl. This is Who writing. thinks she's fine, but she's not? Who thinks she's, she's not. fine, but she's not? Who thinks Oof. she's fine, but she's not? <laughs> Who wrote it? Come on, snitching yourself. Freeze. <laughs> Big what, freeze. What old work you saw, Freeze? I... I, I Overheard a conversation. There we go. There we go. I got you. And that was good. No, no, it was the truth. You know, I overheard a conversation. You know, you seen some old work that yeah, used freeze. to be fire. You, you saw your, you saw your old work move and like they have fire. fizzled out at the HBCU, did you? No, none of my old works went to college. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, the conversation we heard Me earlier. Know. Yeah. That is oh, hilarious. yeah. Fam, we've seen. Stop pointing at me. No, I'm just like, saying. I'm asking. It's yeah. not rap. I'm asking you to expound on what he's saying, stupid nigga. No, you wasn't. You old ass <laughs> niggas get. Sorry, no respect. You, you oh, guys man. close sorry. to 50. You, your marbles is getting cr crossed. Yeah, somebody nigga. just expound, please. Dog, I saw one of my peoples at the mall the other day and she used to be fired the whole the whole I never you know what I mean yeah. you we, never popped I never popped okay we, oh I think you no, 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 no. <laughs> you know what I mean no, no, yo, yo I I know. Know. you see it right no. you see it I'm not sitting there that's disgusting wait I'm not sitting there no. yo you make that sound so disgusting <laughs> you never, never popped, popped. <laughs> Straight yeah. face and everything. You never popped. Canadian. <laughs> Yo, but now she was fire. Like everybody and their mother was on her. You might have popped. <laughs> no, I ain't popped. And I don't pop. acknowledge to... the 15 that you put between us either. Don't try to make it 16. No, you I didn't don't pop. acknowledge the 15. No. And no, I didn't pop. Whoever no, you didn't pop. About. But I was thinking, I thought you might have known her. But she was. You think I want to? Back in the day? Absolutely. Oh, not now. No, not now. <laughs> Motherfucker's aging like milk. <laughs> but, uh, nah, you know. But that how do you know that? Because I'm reading the book. How do you know that she still that she didn't know that she still thought she was fine? The grand. 
the gram. The gram tells you. Yeah. What about her pictures on the gram right now tell you that she thinks oh, she's I still her? I do it. I get They listen to the bar. Look, 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 look. This nigga will look. lead you right out to <laughs> them niggas take death row. Them niggas take half pictures. <laughs> niggas will take lead you right out to death row. But yo, <laughs> yo what? take pictures like this. And it comes. You can't tell the pictures. <laughs> This nigga is, yo, you different. <laughs> yo, this nigga's different. But anyway, who be? You know some old work that used to be fire uh, that you might have yearned for, but I ain't never get an opportunity. And now they see you like, hey, Jabai, and you like, oh, hey. Yeah. It's a whole different ball game now. Yeah. It's the same. They be trying to bait you with a date. I'm like, oh, man, Friday, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. Yo, yeah, that. <laughs> I know what I ain't doing. <laughs> I know what you ain't doing. I ain't about to ever be seen with you again. Ever. What did you do to yourself? Ever, ever. You totally yeah. let yourself go. <laughs> you just said, fuck a diet. One Couldn't of, afford those epic. One of the what you would call Couldn't afford to sit on a table somewhere. Our little Jersey girl peoples we used to like. No, don't play with me. Bibba? You went out with her one time and was like, what happened to her? Yo, you're going to write my... my <laughs> you're going to write my, my Yeah, you're going to write my shit. You remember everything that I do not remember at Yo. all. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga. Yo, she was fire at one point. You slept with that girl, right? I did. I did not. I know. It was good. But you, no. but you went out yeah. with her afterwards? Uh, that nigga, yo, that nigga, that nigga's playing nasty games. Right? And stop trying to play with my man, son. Stop trying to let my man look that. away. Stop that, know, stop, I, you make I, him look like a, a, a serial backdoor, that. nigga. Stop. No, that. that's one of the ones that I, I think I just assumed that it did pop, so I can't. I couldn't pop him. I couldn't pop him. Oh, so you decided not to because uh, you felt his, his man, your man popped. No, her fall off was to the point where Joe didn't. <laughs> oh, she was unpoppable <laughs> after that point. And man, it was bad. My jump ball was running up at the mouth. <laughs> But no, that, that sh I just thought it was funny we could talk about it as men, but everybody in here tucked their You, can, on, you <laughs> can only talk about it as a man when you did what you had to do as a man since since y'all split. True. Yeah, true. Because yeah, true. True. if true. you down bad, true, true, true. then y'all yeah. just down bad. Y'all niggas, you can't turn, you you can't turn away niggas is the backwash crew. <laughs> backwash. Your little salt and pepper looking spicy still, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You still look nice. You clean up nice. You see him, you give him a little hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what I'm saying you. What about the girl that you rejected that later on look fire, nigga. The opposite. The opposite. How do you approach that? How do you approach it? Just like the <laughs> the opposite way of the situation <laughs> earlier. Because you go look crazy. Hey, what's up? They remember that. <laughs> hey, big head. Oh yeah, girl. Oh my god, it's been so long. Uh, Why well, look at you? Look, yeah, look, at look at you. That's, you know that's the disrespect. Oh, you the live right there now. Yo, Joe, wait. Oh, would you be I'm going right, over there too? I'm right there. <laughs> That's my no. spot. Girl. You know the look at you shit is disrespectful a little bit. Cause she, you? No, because she wants. It to looks go good, but think about it. Look at you. Wow. She in her mind, she's like, nigga, yeah. She know that she was looking crazy, and you know she, she know what she look I, like I, now. I'm showing though. you the, how you look now. That little salt, that BB out hit. <laughs> yeah, you got the about? good doctor. Yeah. <laughs> she went. You to spent the, the bag. <laughs> she went to the good one. Yeah, you went to the good one. He took your ribs out too. Oh, okay. <laughs> where did you go, Columbia? Yeah, you don't even ask him. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. just you acknowledge yeah, that. They, they tell them they look they good. They got a figure yeah, eight now yeah. instead of a zero. Yeah, yeah. now you. Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh. You can't ask that. Nah, you just let her know she look Hold good. Hold me down, man. You can't ask that. I'm not gonna really ask. Okay. <laughs> you would. Damn. You would. You Are you crazy? I flip, see flip is definitely next. Like, damn. <laughs> Who did yeah, this? Oh, girl, ish. you went to Columbia. Ish. Oh, you went. Oh, that's the DR back. Ish. Oh, okay. Ish. Come on, ish. I'm gonna ask that. That's crazy. Crazy. But I know how somebody can feel offended by, about how why I look at you now. But they, they, look at, they, they like, know wow, they look, look like. if you keep repeating it. It's complimentary, my nigga. Yeah. But depend on how long you say it. If you drop 40 pounds right now, somebody say, damn, flip, wow, look at you. Thank you. You look at it as a compliment. Yeah, but if you keep saying it, nigga, I'm like, all right, nigga, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I was still queen flip before that. I'm going to get mad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's if fool, you drop so. 40, nigga? Like, nah, I'm going to get tight. Mel, how you think your old work would view you today? Mm, good question. And I'm just asking. I think you look amazing. Yeah, Thank you. Know. you. Um, but your old work might feel different. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 you know why? You want to know why? Because there's the answer that I'll give, and then there's the answer. Well, that's what he said, but that's probably not what he thinks. Well, what do you say? What do you say? They 
Same. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Big team. What the fuck they Whoa. talking about? Big huh? H, Biggie, what the fuck y'all think y'all talking to in here? They say you are, you're holding up extremely well. Thank you. Fine wine. We the whole, we the whole shit. Yeah, we agree with that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Come on. I mean, agree. You look better than a lot of young women. You know what I'm saying? So we, we can understand what they're saying. Thank you. Yeah. You might take that offensive because the age is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta be careful, man. Yeah. What is, is that? Okay. Teach and you me. Look, and you look good in, your, in the little Lifetime movie. You look good, girl. Oh, you watched it? You did. Well, it hasn't come out yet, but you, thank you. I've seen enough. They say the clips. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the clips is out. The clip the that I saw didn't even have you in it. I was like, oh, yo, that's hate, yo. She fell on the that's floor. She got shot. Yo, look at y'all, girl. Ah, they posted the clip, and I'm like. Y'all stupid motherfuckers posted the clip wrong. She not even in it. There's a couple of trailers. The one mm. that I saw. Him, See, yeah, I didn't. The I one saw the one, one that they put on. Too. Um, you didn't search for your sister. X. I did. It's okay. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. <laughs> Trust me, when it comes out, we'll talk. This guy's a fool. I know it. A lot of us are Jersey residents, man. I'm pissed off, but I'm gonna ask y'all how y'all feel about this news about the World Cup coming to Jersey. I thought you guys would be excited about that. It's good for the economy. Yeah. It's just hype. Yo, which brain you want? <laughs> <laughs> and what? Lord. Yo, they're gonna, there's going to be some good tours in here. You don't. Lil Tijuana going to be on fire. <laughs> $40 Hills. That is true. <laughs> well, for those who don't know, the World Cup, they released the schedule um, for 2026. And a couple of the group games, but most importantly, the final will be played at MetLife. At, at a medal in Germany. Wow. The biggest sport in the world. Yeah. So the yeah, tour I thought that was great news for Jersey. It is. Yeah. Until mm -hmm. you drive around. Oh, I don't drive around Jersey. Uh, oh, well, some of us do. Man, what? Oh, boy, mm -hmm. I order. You don't drive around Jersey. You just be chilling in the back of the Maybach or the back of the Lack or the back of the Tahoe or the, you know. Some uh, of us got a chauffeur service is fairly inexpensive and you could also enjoy those same luxuries. <laughs> so I gotta you don't have to speak I gotta work about harder. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, I, nah, I do. No, you don't. Not now. I, I definitely have nah, to work hard. Nah, I'm telling you. You out your mind. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. I got to work fool. extremely hard to get to show for service. Work, work like, intuition. I'm work intuition is terrible. Work intuition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you make a good point, though. That, that little Tijuana going to be, that area. Word. No speaking. Congratulations for New Jersey. Congratulations. Definitely. Yes. How about that? Before y'all start being racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... We want to be a racist. I, 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 I'm moving. I, I want to go there, but I don't want to go there, and I'm just keep my comments to myself because we know all the people. Like, it's, it's gonna be racist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's <laughs> crazy. Um, Meg goes number one. She does. Yeah. She Meg did. goes number one. Come on, Kiss. And she signed her deal. She got it published in her master's Warner. and all the good uh, stuff. All the good stuff. Mm -hmm. All the good she bullet points. Did she signed a distro deal. Did she bitch, hey. You should deal with Warner, yeah. yeah. Oh, she paid out the ass then, probably. Right? What you mean? I don't know. I'm saying she's a brand brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me to sell you your shit, she had to come up off of something. I don't know about none of that. I'm not even going to speculate and guess or say what I really think on the matter. <sighs> I'm here to congratulate her for the number one on a disc record without a hook. Hmm. Mm. Her, plan, her plan worked That's, that's what I'm the, the that's, plan? that's great for artistry Period That a song with no hook Where you just firing at niggas And with that long speech in it Like we was talking about like, yeah. So for that you, you, you was To go player. number one Yeah that's big That's big That's big Gotta give it to him Alright <sighs> Gotta give it to him Think it's real? Personally? What? No Cause don't y'all say that People could trick yeah. and play with the numbers right? No, I don't think that. I think it's real in that sense, but I think it was machine play behind it to make mm -hmm. that happen. That's what I mean. So it ain't real. It's real because it happened. Yeah. It's real because it happened. But it's manufactured. Yes, that's the way it's manufactured, for sure. But I don't want to diminish it. It's still an accomplishment. Not organic. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Salute to her either, either way. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it alone. You do that a lot. You step on people's moment a lot. Fam, you take you take y'all tap you take, dance around it. You, you know take what we the think. Highlight yo. That somebody's <laughs> experience. Y'all know, know y'all know what y'all. And you know immediately the, get man. to stepping on that shit, man. Because yeah. I'm I'm not here to sugarcoat this shit. We can see through certain shit. This is the same fight that Nikki been talking about the machines and and the manufactured this. Bro, I saw fucking uh, I think it was there's a contest going where you could win some merch and 
you get a certain amount of injuries by streaming a song here and uh, signing up for the mailing list here. Like, this is all the little tricks of the trade that they disqualify other artists for, but because this one is yeah. on our side and in our group, we allow it to go. It's, it's I, bullshit, well, let me say man. something to you, Ice, because I got a problem with you real quick. I have a problem with me, you, man. You, you, gotta, you gotta extend the grace that we extend you up here, bro, to other people, bro. We we, we we extend you the grace by not getting at you because we know I said you gotta extend that grace to some people. Ah, so man, a nigga that we walk on eggshells around sometimes, you tend to really be unfiltered when it comes to motherfuckers. And it's kind of unfair, Ice. It's kind of unfair because you better than that. She went number one. Nigga, praise her for going number one and let's I did move that. on. Nigga. I did that. I praised her for going number one, Flip. I said salute to her for going number one. I look but are we you. up here? To, but I told everybody, I'm telling the truth for the first half of the year. You did say, okay. I said that. What's so we should do the same thing. You, go ahead, Flip. No, 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 no. It's, it's not about that. It's not about me and you. I'm just saying that we, you, you, get, you don't extend grace. I extend grace. Okay. Hey, okay. how about this? How about this? Okay. I, how about this? You're right. you, I want y'all to do me a favor. Sure. Because now that we're here, I do want to speak on that because I hate that narrative. But, and I do get where a lot of it come from because this is conversations that I've had with the people that matter to me. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of, yo, but your facial expression says this. You always look upset. Like, I go back to when we had uh, Mona here. Don't call me white girl. And remember, she looked at me. She's like, yo, why are you so mad? I wasn't mad. But He's I'm looking friend. at myself. It's just like, I do give off that, but I don't be mad. You got resting bitch face? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And that's just another reason why you <laughs> sorry, should I'm sorry. watch It was yourself. right there. Yeah. You're supposed to be my man. For <laughs> I mean, you're you're man. Man. So, so you're just, are you I heard you. Smile? I heard you. <laughs> I heard, I you're, good yeah. you're good at that. You're good at that. I've noticed. More. Yeah. I've noticed. But what I want y'all to all do. I know, but yeah, shut the fuck up. I'm dead ass. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Yo, shoot. No. Don't. I'm, 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 you know why? Listen, let me, let me, let me, let me answer. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me say something first. <laughs> let, me say, let me say something first. Can I respond to him at this? Please, there is a way. Like, you can't get, like, if, I, if you don't, if, if it, let's say it is a block or something. There's a, there's mm -hmm. a, I got to I gotta experience it. So don't walk on eggshells but, around me. But let me say this. The thing is. You're, you're, you're in a, everybody's in a point piece in their role, right? And because you're in a point and piece, when you get upset, it is visible. You can see it, and it changes the dynamic up here as far as the information. See, me, if I get upset based off of my behavior, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, you can feel it. But you, you know, you're knowledgeable about music. You're knowledgeable about certain things. Mm -hmm. So when you go, when you in your feelings and you go quiet, it's like, I mean, of course, <laughs> you know, <laughs> number two, King Tut over here, he can carry, but you got, you know, we, you got. So what way do you get, <clears throat> excuse me, what way do you get better at that than to keep, keep doing it? That's you what have I'm to saying. Get, you have to get better. You but have if to get better. Say, but, if, but now for this, if y'all say, yo, we're not going to approach you, we're going to walk on eggshells around you, we're not going to shoot at you, we're not going to nothing, then what way do I get better at that on here? Y'all. Okay. With love. Gotcha. I meant it. I, Got you. We, but it's cool, carry you can pass the ball. It's, it's okay. Here you go. It's okay. <laughs> No, now I gotta play it. Pass the fucking ball! Pass the ball! Oh my God! God damn! Pass the fucking ball! Uh, what else we got? What else we got that is of? Have y'all heard uh about Lake Lanier? In of Georgia? course. Y'all know the story behind it. I do. Okay. Some, um, some black people slavery type something. There was a there was a city, um, Oscarville, Georgia, and. A uh, false accusation led to like a white, basically a um, Black Wall Street situation where Rose they ran in there, mm -hmm. roll everybody out. Um, they built a man-made lake on top of this area, so like there's still like the roads and everything mm -hmm. at the bottom of the lake, trees, the whole shit. This lake is like a giant tourist attraction down there, but niggas is dying, like a lot. So nah, was, I've heard about it. I've heard that, yeah. They've yeah, been mysteriously. Like, like, like to date, it's been over 700 deaths down there. Yeah. So it's been say, it's been saying, like, you know, this is the ancestors. Yeah, brother you know, Abdullah grabbing ankles down coming here. To get come they, in. Yeah, coming to get their lick back. Come, Yo. Come grab your ass. Come on down here. Deep sweat. <laughs> brother Abdul, why do you talk like this? Because he's racist. <laughs> <He's laughs> you racist. Every episode, Wait, some racist fan. shit just leaks you, out of him. Did you see this on Instagram? Because I saw, the, I saw like, a, a reel made where it was, like, a bunch of lakes and also Central Park where they used to be, like, towns or cities that were, you know, what? it was black folks and then they were, like, they got taken why both y'all legs crossed. I'm just saying, y'all good? I just want to make sure there's not. Uh, Yo, what you got? A H D A D H. I just want to make sure. Cross? I'm sorry. It's just, it's just Joe leg cross. My leg cross. Park's leg cross. cross. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I didn't see that. I was paying attention to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My fault is. 
<laughs> but no, I brought it up because there's a movie out about it now. Okay. Um, it's called Lanier. So it sounds fire though. It sounded fire. Jason under that water tan ass. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a it's a thriller. Uh huh. So they they took the story, but now we're gonna t- put a little twist on it sure. and make it a scary you know scary flick. Right. Oh man, you know me and you, we love a bad scary. Absolutely, this is shit. right there, Parks. Ooh. It's right. It's bad. Where's that? <laughs> uh, Prime. Oh. It's it's bad though. Lanier. I love a bad movie. I ain't gonna spoil it, but if you have, well, yeah, just give it a shot. If y'all like bad scary movies, this is one of those. Uh, it ain't a doc. I thought it was like some because even the tagline based on true events. No crocodile mm-hmm. come out at the end. No, I ain't no crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. But G- yeah, Gator. I yeah. got you, dog. I, I enjoy watching this one. So. I'm gonna watch that. So I said, I figured, let me just let my people know. About Appreciate it. that. Mm-hmm. Appreciate. I pass. It. I pass. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> fucking <laughs> Lake Lanier. I think the story is dope. Not the real story. The real, yeah, the story is interesting. Well, not dope, but it's interesting. It's, interesting. it's an interesting story. Choose your words wisely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I cleaned it up. I don't want no sauce. How do you feel? Um, they said that uh, I used to put me on that the money in battle rap is dried up, they say. It's on the board. I said that years ago. All the battle rappers attacked me. A couple I battle remember. rappers been saying it. I said that and they been getting ago. attacked. I remember. Years ago, I said that. That what? It's not self sustaining. There's no money in it. Smack signed that big deal with caffeine, tried to divvy it up right. Everybody fought. Everybody backdoored each other. Everybody mm-hmm. said wild shit. True. And now, this is what you get. I don't know about Smack and caffeine's dealings, but I could look at the cards. I could look at the battle rappers. I could look at that space and tell, ain't no money there. Well, they, they had an event over the weekend. And from what I understand, it was three battlers that were just no-shows. Um, two of the battles didn't even go down. And, you know, I, I saw an interview um, after the event with Smack, and he was like, you could, you could see it. Just the frustration. The frustration. Like, mm-hmm. he, it, you could tell it's so much more he wanted to say. Like, dude was angry, but he was, you know, Smack is a cool ass. He don't really sh- show you. He ain't going to tell you the, the full, you know, what's going on. But um, he was just like, yo, he, he, they asked him, what do you say to all of the people saying the money is slowing up? He's like, yo, the money's going. All right. That money mm-hmm. that y'all was hearing about, it's not happening no more. It's gone. How, how do you feel about situations like that? Because back in the days, the, the, they were on Smack's ass and URL's ass to pay the battlers, right? Mm-hmm. And now that he finally landed a deal where he could pay the battlers, the well runs dry. So how do we clean this up? Um, right? And I, I think that he, I think that in their mind, they knew that the caffeine deal would go a different way. Mm-hmm. So that's why they were trying to push the URL app. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They were trying to push the URL app to sustain the money that Caffeine might have given them at the time. Mm-hmm. And then now the fans just turn on URL. But, you know, I don't I don't really know why. I think I think the battlers but, started that because what was happening, it was just that um they were used to getting their their views and their pays from um YouTube. They wasn't getting no money. Now it's not necessarily you moving all the battles to the app, which we understand why you're doing it. But again, they they not getting the money like that. It's only a select few that was getting them big bags. Everybody wasn't getting it. So I just think it was. But, what, but what's, what's the alternative? I just I, mm-hmm. no disrespect to nobody. I just didn't see how it was self sustaining where you could be given four, five, six guys a certain type of money because the revenue's not coming back to. And that, that's literally not only is it that's not, what he said. Not only is it not coming back, none of y'all are helping it come back. That, mm. yeah. that none of that. y'all are helping to get that. Y'all coming in and actually doing the opposite. Y'all coming in here, you forgot the verse, you mm. bringing 90 people, this nigga stabbed him, this mm. nigga fought him. Mm. Now you can't have these venues anywhere in, in different cities. Now you adding travel expenses on top of that. Most of you niggas think y'all are worth 20, 30, 40, 50, X. 60, 70, yeah. and 80,000 dollars. Y'all are high out your mind. Y'all are high. That was a one little quick window that was going around. I don't know what the fuck y'all thought. Y'all was the privilege. Mm. Y'all mm. was the privilege. The battle rap scene died. Uh, uh, juice and fucking back then, 90s, late 90s. Smack came. Y'all had a fucking uh, reinvention, mm. and that was it. And from what I hear, he tried to share. You get what I'm Fine. saying? From what I heard, he yeah. tried to share. And so when you start being greedy with a nigga that's trying to share, you don't know what he doing behind the scenes to get these deals or to ink these deals and to try and push it None forward. of y'all went inside your own fucking deal. I'm not talking about Conceited. I'm not talking about the Wild and Out crew. I'm not talking about 
hollow. I'm not talking about goods, the people that went and started businesses outside of this. I'm not talking to y'all. But most of y'all ain't even going to start a fucking YouTube page. All y'all did was go begging the Beasley and smack for money mm. every time. Mm, the bad man. deals, no, layaway no. plans, yo, break me off, give me a little now, a little bit later. No, go build a fucking business and stop begging. Sell a brick. <laughs> That's, on that, I will That's say, it, yeah. <laughs> I'll be in New Orleans March 2nd. UW is back. Shout out to my brother Arce. He brought his battle it. league back. Look, a business. And the first event, we out there. Yeah. That's dope. So, yeah. They gonna be mad at this nigga, Joe. Nah, that's the truth, though. They can't be mad at me. Nah, they they can't be mad at me. I've truth. offered to fund the battles that I want to do. None you of them did. niggas you have did. ever called me. You did. You did I try to be a help and, a, and, a, and of some service. You did offer, yes. To these yeah. people. So, nah, most of these niggas ain't even sell a t-shirt. Y'all didn't sell shit. You just been on stage rapping words. That's 10% of the fight. And like you said, going up there ill-prepared, forgetting this, and giving yeah. you one round, choking here. Yeah, niggas succumb to your... Hmm? Everybody, not everybody. everybody. Hell everybody no. Hollow, does. Hollow, Hollow was one of the ones that sold merch. One of the ones. Hollow is one of the ones. It's, it's bigger than that. Hollow is one of the ones to negotiate yes. for the ability to sell merch in the venue. Mm -hmm. That's like when they do the festivals and, and have yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's big business. Mm -hmm. So no, nah, most of these man, yeah, please. But I don't waste my time with these battle rappers. You're right. Please. What, please. Would you still do? And then, and then yep. most of y'all fell off. And that part. Then most of y'all fell off. So now somebody got to go find a whole new wave, the whole new crop, mm. and make sure they're talented and now build the business all over again. Mm. That's and, then, and then even the ones you want to keep, I want to keep your exclusive. You got a problem with that. Yeah, now, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, y'all yeah. need me. The ones that have my phone number, y'all know how to reach me. The rest of y'all, hey, good run. It was hot while it lasted. Yeah, pretty much. But yo, um, I also want to send a congratulations. Sexy Red had a baby. Big Sexy's bike. Hey, hey. Huh? Big sexy. You know, I was happy. Y'all see a little, um, y'all see her pictures? I didn't. I did. You didn't? Loved them. I did. I, I loved them. Absolutely loved them. Fire. Shout out to Sexy Red, man. Congratulations. What, what was the pictures? She in the hospital bed and just like, turning you know, up. Tooting that she, thing up. She like, you know she back. Oh, shit. <laughs> Standing you know on couches. Huh? In the hospital? Yes. In the, in the Standing hospital. on business. The baby over there in the, in the little incubator thing. Yep. Fuck. Fuck we talking about? She said she ready to get dressed and go out and hit the block. <laughs> you saw the pig's mail? You saw the pig's mail? I did. You thinking anything? I've never had a baby, so I would just assume you're kind of tired after you've given birth. So, you know, she seems to have a whole lot more energy than I would. Mm. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna fucking get me. <laughs> Y'all. That must have been. That was a good one. See, good diplomacy. One. This ain't lifetime Thank over you. here, my mom. This death row. <laughs> 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 all, right, all that shit you're doing. <laughs> ta -ha, ta -ha. And speak, speaking of sexy red. Now, nah, pause. I'm not gonna do that sexy <laughs> Yo, I wanted to say round of applause. I came in here, or I tweeted not too long ago, if Nick Stephon Marbury is better than Nick Jalen Brunson, uh, a lot of people hit me and said, absolutely not, Jalen Brunson is him. Nick Jalen Brunson, mm -hmm. not career. Uh, and Jalen Brunson has been selected to the all-star team. He deserves it. Shout out to the Knicks. Shout out to Leon Rose. Julius Randle was selected as well. I just think that's a really big deal for Jalen Rose, who many people said was overpaid when the Knicks first signed that Brunson. contract. Jalen I mean, Brunson. What am I saying? You said Jalen Rose. Rose. Jalen Rose. Rose. Well, you know the Knicks too. <laughs> sure. uh, yeah, they said that Jalen Brunson was overpaid when we first got that contract. They said he didn't show enough in Dallas. Y'all said a whole bunch of shit. And he has been. Cold crazy. He might be the best Nick point guard I have ever seen. I'm not talking about Earl Frazier and back then. Uh -huh. He is going absolute. He's absolutely crazy. He's got like the most 40 point games this season. He's shooting okay. ridiculous percentages. I'm just happy for him. I'm happy for him. I'm Indeed. happy for the Knicks. Indeed. A few more pieces, and, and that should be good. Now, you seen the shit with um his dad? What happens there? The workout video going on. Oh with yeah, his dad. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. It's fine. I was gonna say you said a few more pieces. Well, I saw Braun had the Nick 
towel wrapped around him. And that's what that, I want to talk about. That, that would be the missing piece right there. Ah. <laughs> Listen, I've never had a baby. I assume that you'll be tired after pregnancy, but congrats. <laughs> Yo, so Clutch Sports and the Knicks brass pieced up their long-standing feud last week. This is a big deal if you if if you're a Knicks fan and you know Clutch represents all of the best and the hottest mm-hmm. players, and they were icing out the Knicks from fucking that. with any of them for over a decade. Really? Yes, it's been bad. <laughs> it's been bad. So they pieced it up finally. Conveniently, while the Knicks are good, they pieced it up. Right before that Laker-Nick game, then the Laker-Nick game happens. There's a whole about, lot of talk about LeBron to the Knicks that I thought all of it was bullshit until the end of that Nick mm-hmm. game that they won because they doubled Jalen Brunson the whole fourth quarter. LeBron puts on the Nick towel, covers the, Laker, the Lakers yeah. uniform uh, with the Knicks towel. Throw a little shade. LeBron knows exactly what he's doing. Mm-hmm. I hate that the Knicks are always used as the pawn team in a negotiation tactic. I don't know that LeBron is interested in the Knicks, but I think that's some bullshit that he pieced it up and in the same week is wearing the Nick towel to get Jeannie Buster to cut him a different type of check. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't want LeBron on the Knicks. <laughs> you think it's about a check? I think that... I Negotiation. Think, I think since he tweeted that little hourglass that nobody still has said what it means. Tom. Time I think, is ticking. Yeah, I, th- I take it to mean when we used to pull that out in Monopoly, nice. hey, <laughs> time is running, nigga. Yeah. That's what that means. So he's talking to somebody at the Lakers yeah. saying, stop playing with me. But you know what he does every midseason? LeBron goes and makes you go get free agents to build the team that I want to put around me to be competitive. So I think that's just another one of his tricks. They showing him in the huddle just disregarding whatever Darvin Ham uh, play he talking about. They showing him just very disinterested. That could be back the, there. The, the, the time thing, too. Like, yo, it's time to get this nigga out of here. Maybe. But just don't use the Knicks. Just don't use the Knicks. We, we have suffered enough, yo. I'm going to ask a question because, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know shit. But, like, why wouldn't you want him on the Knicks? Uh, because of what he will cost you at this age and the attention that the attention that's going to come with him at this age. I just think the Knicks have gotten better by identifying players that Talent. fit their brand sure. that they want to play, sure. like dogs. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like I think Tom Thibodeau and Leon Rose and everybody back there, they got a good groove. Yeah. So to blow that up now, you've been mad patient for the last 10 years. You got all of the draft picks. You got fucking players that are producing that are all-stars now. Don't take the old Nick route of throw all the money at the world at the best player in the world and hope that it sticks. I understand. And that is towards the end of his career. Towards the end of his career. career. That makes perfect perfect sense. It's just a game of chemistry. Yeah, no, I get it. I I understand. I get that. You can have quality people, but they just don't gel and they don't bond, so they're not going to produce. Yeah, LeBron is a lot. He's a lot. He's a diva, and rightfully so. Keep that shit in Hollywood. (laughs) Dead ass. Um... What else? I want to talk about Turkey Leg Hut, but we'll do that on Patreon. Okay. Okay. We'll do that on Patreon. I do have a part of the show for you guys. This should be rather quick. Okay. This says, this is from, uh, uh, who is this from? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I fucked some shit up. Oh. Anonymous, anonymous. Uh-oh. Tavian Jones. All right. <laughs> After watching the Grammys... After watching the Grammys, if, this is a typo, if, oh, after watching the Grammys, if you're yay, would you want some form of apology, whether private or public, because he jumped out the window for Beyonce and now the same, air quotes, thing that both yay and Hove are speaking to still exists and has crossed over to SZA slash Summer Walker worlds as well? No. Mm -hmm. I see that take running around. While I do think that Kanye West was absolutely right in what he was saying. The execution, not so much. No. I think that Kanye West usually is right in what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But his execution, his emotion, his delivery, Mm -hmm. all of those things be so wrong that that's what we all pay attention to. And then we kick his back in because he's crazy. It's an old 
white people trick. Black people have adopted it to do it against our own. But in terms of the original point, he was spot on with that. I don't mm-hmm. think he should have did that when he did it. I don't think he should have stepped on Taylor's moment because any black people that are mad about how big Taylor Swift has become, Kanye West is a part of that story. Yep. And she didn't ask for that. That's what I was going to say. There's a lot, of, a lot of shit in Taylor Swift's story that she didn't ask for, and it just so happened to come. Mm-hmm. So, no. I think he was totally wrong in what he did, but I think he was right in what he was saying. What say you guys? Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with you. I mean, um, him, you in that one. Him doing that to Taylor Swift, one could argue, like, Victimized, propelled her even up mm-hmm. higher. It did. Like it kind of. It did. It did. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a direct. It did at the time. At it's the time, of that. everybody did not know who this white girl was. Yeah. So it's like, again, same thing you said, bro. It's it's yeah. Right, right idea, wrong execution. And the other part of that, because there's remnants of what Nikki been saying too, and and in the whole shit. But part of why that whole shit is so great is because you got to get there to get there. You have to get there to get there. We could we could all be living room tweeters, mm-hmm. quarterbacks, Instagrammers. Mm-hmm. We could all say, and we would be right. But the work that comes along the journey to say it in the room to the people that need to hear it, yeah. It's message, messenger, and timing all at the same time. Right. You mm-hmm. know, because sometimes it could be the right person saying the right shit, and it's just bad timing, mm-hmm. or wrong messenger, right message, mm-hmm. et cetera, right. et cetera. So... All right, we have, uh, we got sleepers. If we bled you with Grammy talk. Sorry. Fuck you. (laughs) Fuck you. Listen, once or twice a year, we turn back into a music podcast, all right? (laughs) It was going to happen after the Grammys. There was a lot to get to. It was. So, yeah, I don't care. Um, Good pod today, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Again, we want to say congratulations to Killer Mike. SZA, Coco Jones, Lil Durk, Victoria Monet, everybody that was nominated, everybody that won, everybody that performed, everybody that's still out there fighting a good fight. Shout out to y'all. Salute to y'all. Fiend! 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 Yo, you know what he did after that, too? With with, um, Killer Mike 1, he went and changed the album name on Spotify to Michael, Rap Album of the Year. For yeah. real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the fuck he should. Hell yeah, I love it. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriva Dirchi. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. All that good stuff. Some news that just got... I said something that just came across my feed. Uh-huh. You know I'm excited about. Jeezy's doing a tiny desk. Mmm. Keeping it in Atlanta. Okay. Oh, That's exciting. That is very exciting. That is exciting. Shout out to Jeezy. Uh, remember, life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make each moment last as if it's all we have. And lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed minded women want you to teach them things, grab you with Tylenol. You might need it. Here's to everybody having a good week out there, man. Salute, salute, salute. Yo, For the see, love of music. Salute, salute. See someone's uh, flipping the goodness, it seems like? Hmm? Finally. Who flipped it? J-Lo and Redman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it on SNL. Okay. It's not hard. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I like J-Lo flips. Yeah. I like J-Lo flips. And don't tell anybody, I like the J-Lo Lotto record. That's another flip. I don't think I heard that. Me either. I'll play it for you. I don't know how they heard this and thought something else was happening. Anybody got some fun plans for the uh, fun plans for the week? We'll pick Super Bowl on our uh, next next pod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next pod. I'm Chiefs anyway. Same, <laughs> I'm same. Chiefs anyway, but I just hope they have a good game. Me too. I do. We'll unpack the game next pod, man. Y'all hold it down out there. Always doing it for the ladies. For the ladies, out! Y'all hold it down out there, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Until next time, we gone. New job button. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? New 
Joe Biden. <laughs>